Welcome, everyone. It's a good way to start. <laughs> Just start. It? I guess it's me. So, uh, hey, everyone. Welcome to Strategy Night. Uh, oh, we got. Uh, who's. Let me uh, pause that there. Yeah, I pulled uh, the rookie. Uh, One of got, us is making. making we noise. got. Um, well, it's not. The, got the headphones. No. But uh, Jay Hannon's in the house, Johnny Bean, David Nesdal, myself, and uh, everyone else in the chat. I got some friends out there uh, down in Connecticut hanging out. I uh, want to say hi to, uh, let's see, we got Mark, uh, Mike, uh, let's see, Wilson, Dan, and Matt are all out there watching. Some of my old college buddies just want to say hi to you guys. I'm wearing the, uh, the Toad's. The Toad's uh, shirt, you know, my, my... <laughs> my new Halen wow. buddies. Yeah. New Halen buddies? Yeah. Awesome. Are they are they into Halen? Um, one of them. Well, no, none of them actually live in New ha Halen, but uh, <laughs> um, a couple of them are close. So we've all dispersed since then. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's after the first minute and a half, so I can start swearing, right? Absolutely. Okay, cool. Thank you. Uh, hey, everybody. Welcome. Uh, make sure to subscribe. Subscribe. Right. There's a button here somewhere. Leave a thumbs up. This is Johnny Bean, by the way. I forgot to put my name in the thing. Um, but hey, quick, quick shout out here. I just saw something. Sorry to, to take over your show. No, go for it, man. Hey, how many John BLs can you see behind me? <laughs> Look, can you see the, the mirror? And there's John Beals back there. It's way the back. Water. Yeah, there, there should be one, right? I see a tail wagging or something. Right there is John, because I have my monitor. Oh, now here. now it's just uh, now it's just you. Oh, All was... right, never mind. Go ahead. <laughs> now you well now you can just see me. <laughs> Mike, yeah. Mike. Mike what was that you me last night? Yeah, yeah. Thank you for the sticker, man. What is that? That's Pigeon. What's he doing? Oh, it's a mic drop. Mic drop. Awesome. Awesome. Wow. How you guys uh, doing? <laughs> pretty good. Let me just say, great show last night, guys. Excellent. I mean, uh, thank you. Ronnie was amazing. I I really didn't know a lot about uh, her or. You know, I, I've heard of the Runaways and that, and you know, uh, was I, I had seen the film and um, I didn't, you know, and I knew there were people behind the scenes, and I knew, you know, and and she was right in the scene. I mean, apparently, which was just so cool, and the people that she met and, and the stories that she had, uh, just uh, it was a great, uh, great interview, guys. Good, to, good to see well, that. I think I think I could speak for uh, Johnny, Dave, and myself that it was it was virtually. It was very easy last night because, you know, you talk to some people and, uh, you know, there's some people you have to kind of like pull stuff out of and, and that stuff. But she was just like, man, you ask her a question and she was just, mm -hmm. you know, on it and, and just full of information and cool stories and yeah. just let her go. And she, she was awesome. It was awesome. A lot Absolutely. of fun. Absolutely. Looking forward to seeing her on again. Definitely. That was a, you know, a great find Dave. And I know Johnny was friends with her for, for a while. Yeah, apparently we've been friends for five years. <laughs> apparently, and, nobody, and Johnny didn't know it, but <laughs> neither of us knew it. Although she knew my name, though, she she she, well, she she recognized my name after years and years, and and then yeah, we have some mutual friends as well. So that so that's cool. But yeah, yeah, she was great. She, she was awesome, and the podcast is already up. I went ahead and I did it last night. You know right afterwards. Mm -hmm. So there's a podcast version of that up on iTunes and uh, Stitcher. Cool. What was the podcast sound again? Was it? Was that yeah. it? Yeah, that's what you're using. <laughs> Dave's got it. <laughs> I can't do it when it's smile. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Jinx. <laughs> oh man. Wow. Dave, yeah, how's, yeah. how's the flame? 
Excellent. Let's Johnny, let's see that. It's alive. <laughs> Sounds Very good. Cool. It is excellent, man. I love it. How cool is that headstock? It is. Yep. Kind of tuners are those? They are the Goto uh, Crown Chevron tuners that the they they were made back in nineteen eighty and eighty one. Uh, they were they were the ones you would get like in eighty one, and uh, they're very hard to find. Mm -hmm. But uh, we found some. Awesome. I have I you know they're basically the same ones that are on the Frankenstein guitar, but in chrome. Right. Uh, they're they're very hard to find. And the Floyd, what's the uh? Show us the Floyd too. The, the Floyd a is a it's from a nineteen eighty five Kramer. It's an it's an old Floyd that was given to me by Andy Allador. That uh, it wasn't on a Kramer. It was on an old ESP that he had from '85. So, you know, um, they built that ESP built the guitar for for him back when he wa thought he wanted a Floyd, and then he took the Floyd off and, and had the had had a um, like a regular Fender type bridge put on it, and then he subsequently gave me the Floyd. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Yeah. Wow that cool, that that guitar that looks like looks like that that bottom uh, I guess it's a flame. I, yeah. From the first time I saw that 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 bottom horn was like it. I mean, how does how doesn't it just break off every time? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know? Well, I gotta tell you, this, this body is made out of maple, and yeah. it ain't breaking. It's strong. Yeah. It is not breaking. Can we can we try it? <laughs> yeah. Let me break Let's it over. Your head. Give it all you got, Dave. Yeah, just push a little bit. <laughs> so it's a heavy guitar. Good people playing Steve Vai licks on that, though. Okay, hang on. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Yeah, and I am wearing pants, so or shorts. Oh, that's oh, no. Fun. Thank God. Well, I mean, <laughs> you did see me. Oh, I didn't know that was your leg. I thought that. Oh, I was like, damn. No, I have my. <laughs> What'd you think that was? You come oh, in. To, I came on tonight to see the guitar. Stayed for something else. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Wow. Oh my gosh. Um, there we go. Uh, so that yeah, that's cool. So it's a heavy guitar. Uh, well, there's a lot of wood missing, so it's still probably about seven and a half pounds. But seven and a half pounds with a lot of wood missing. Mm -hmm. So what's yeah. what's the balance like though? Is it? It's very balanced. It's you know basically, it's right there. The uh, the strap button is right on the on the uh, back. Oh wow! Yeah. Look at that. Yeah, we put that on there. Is that a custom plate, or is that? Uh... No, we just drilled a hole right in the middle of it and put it in there because it's really the only. That's the way it was on Steve's guitar. Mm -hmm. It was very easy to drill a hole in it. She said. <laughs> she said that. She thrash said metal. Thrash metal says that. Check out that fret access, man. You could put like thirty six frets on there. You really could. Uh, get off me. <laughs> <laughs> it's so weird, man. They should sell fret extenders, just like something you could put at the bottom, because you get such... Very you, easy you, to get. You really could. I mean, you could put a whole, like, an extra 10 frets in there under that. Could, Super yeah. tiny, but, you know. Yeah. For any single pickup guitars, you could you could get a fret extender if you had the... You know. <clears throat> yeah. There you, you go, know, an the, invention. That's out there now. So there was... They, with this guitar... 
They were there was only one original one made for Steve by Joe Dispagni at Gem Guitars, and it was painted exactly like this one, uh, with orange, the orange, and then yellow, and then red. And then uh, I guess because Steve started using uh, performance guitar parts, they made replicas, like four replicas for him, and they were painted differently. They were painted like a like almost the the flames were all yellow up here. And it was a white stripe and then red, uh, and that's the that's the one that you see Thomas McRocklin with. It's 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 a performance version that was Steve's, and he used that on the White Snake tour, uh, and it had an Ibanez neck on it. But originally, that guitar would have had a twenty-two fret performance neck like this one, hmm. uh, and then you know he he put an Ibanez twenty-four fret neck on it and uh, and um, routed a. Uh, uh, a recessed trim for for an edge system. So it's basically a glorified Ibanez is what it mm. was. Um, but the original one, like this one is painted, like is in a, uh, it's, I think it's at the, the, uh, the rock walk guitar center in, in LA. I think that's where it is. Mm -hmm. I know there's one there. I, yeah. And it, I saw, yeah, I saw one there. It was also re for the, for the going crazy video. It's this, it's this guitar with this headstock but it was repainted the headstock was repainted red to match this color red mm -hmm. um and then and it says performance and gold on it at the headstock so that's the way it looks now it's just beat up beat up looking but yeah that's what the original one is like awesome. well mike niece asks uh he says may i ask where you got the neck yes it is a music craft neck uh that i ordered with um stainless steel jumbo frets uh and we painted the headstock and uh we got the, the the decal um from somewhere in portugal some guy in portugal has the decals uh deckle? and it's it's an exact yeah it's an exact decal it's <laughs> the exact same size that that uh performance uses um where did they where did they make performance was LA. The, it's a small uh, custom shop in LA. It's a small little guitar shop that makes custom guitars in, in, in Los Angeles. Uh, and the body is a KNE body. And man, this is a, just another guitar, another guitar that absolutely went together so easily. I didn't have to shim the neck or anything. I just put it together, put the Floyd on it. It, it went together. The action is exactly where I keep my action. It was like I didn't have to do anything but just put it together. Like it wanted to be a guitar right away. It was amazing. That's awesome. Yeah. Mike is himself. I'm sorry. You know, Yesterday, I didn't get a chance to answer this question for you. Uh, what's the radius on, an, on a reissue 84 Florida? Actually, I did answer for you. You might have gone. You might have left. Uh, the, the radius on a 1984 Floyd. If the shim is under the saddles, it's 10 inch radius. If you take the shim out from underneath the saddles, it's a 12 inch radius. So it will work on your Jackson. Yes, you do need to remove the shim. There's only one shim. It's a long shim that goes under the under the middle four saddles. Okay. Finally. Sorry, I've been scrolling because I told you guys Jason Becker also has one of those guitars. And mm -hmm. I was scrolling on my phone. I finally found it. This is from July of 2015 when I was over at his house. Th this one, this this one belongs to Jason Becker right here. Finally found it. It's it's a picture of the side, but I'll zoom in. I'll zoom in on it. Oh, there you go. Nice. Yeah. Here's the uh, here's the headstock. That looks just like my guitar, except that one is a real performance one. That's probably one of Steve's. Has like a half an acoustic Different guitar. Tuner, tuner. Yeah, it's got a that's half a guitar on it. Yeah, that's that's the logo that they the first one, like this one, only had this logo on it. It looked exactly like this. Uh, and then after that, they they put the uh, different logo on with the half a guitar, and it says, I think it says "Made in Los Angeles, California" underneath performance. Oh, it says. I can almost read it. Oh, let me take my glasses off. It's got it's <laughs> gotten to the point where I can't read with my with my glasses on. 
Well, somebody needs I, to go to the eye doctor. I have to, I have to take them off. That to I, need, to, I need your glasses, and you need to get a new prescription. To be able to read, I have to take my glasses off these days. It actually says a lot of stuff underneath the performance. Yeah, it should say um, made Hollywood, in Los Angeles. Hollywood, yeah. California. That's it, yeah. USA. Johnny Bean. Uh, <laughs> something something There's MI Steve Inc. Some, some ink. There, there it is. is. That's the at, one. MI Inc. You gotta find the good picture of it. Uh, basically, all the pictures that you see with Steve holding a flame guitar would be the one that Joe made him, because it was Ooh. they only they only did a few photos of it. Be looks like this has it. a looks like this has a Demarzio pickup in this one. Here's the body. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, he's got the yeah. There you go. So that that's that's Jason Becker's. Oh, I got more pictures of it. Hang on. Here's wow. another one of Steve. Oh, there you go. Well, they can't. Wait, hang on. Right now. <laughs> there we go. We get a. Uh, oh, you show me a, yours. I'll let me just you get. A, let me just get a screenshot of it first. That way <laughs> you get a way. screen cap it and then send it to me. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Come on. Uh. All, right. All right. Yeah, that's the one. That's yeah. it. Red headstock. Great video. That's cool. Okay. And then oh, this is oh, this is cool. Okay. Hey John Bowler. Yeah, it hey, is cool. Hey John you see, you see how mostly mostly that's yellow? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's that's yeah, how they, that's how that. that's how performance made it for him. The two gold saddles. Am I seeing that right, Johnny? Um, or was it just the light hitting? It that's that's either a that's either the light or or it's possible. Oh it yeah, does look like yeah. Yeah, it might be. Well, it, it might be chrome. They might be chrome. Oh no, no, it's the light because the bottom of the saddles is still black here. Yeah, what the heck? Yeah, it's the light hitting it. Yeah, I guess it that's, could be. That's weird, it's man. Strange. But that would be cool, yeah. Two just two miscellaneous gold saddles. Why not? So this, speaking speaking of Jason Becker, that one uh, has a chip in the yeah. top. Oh no! Yeah, it's probably was Steve's. Oh, it's probably road road used. Now we're all of the maple. Uh, that's a good question. I I really don't know. I don't know. That's a good question. We'll have to check that out. I know the original one was. Um, now, and the reason I, the, the two reasons I went with maple is because, um, first of all, the original was, I think was maple. I'm almost positive was maple because, uh, for some reason it sticks in my head that it was, um, cause I was there basically. Well, and who's, the, our, who's our woodworker? We have someone that could look at that crack and tell us if it was, oh, uh, Steve Carmichael. <laughs> so anyway, the, the second reason why I went with maple on this is because if, you know, on an alder body or an ash body, you take this much wood out, it's not going to sound good. It's going to be, there's not going to be any sound. So I went with a, I went with a very heavy wood uh, to make up for, for the loss the lack of wood. <laughs> the la yeah. The lack of wood. And I chose a uh, pariah Pasadena black pickup because maple in general is a very brittle sounding wood it's very very bright and some of it's brittle and this pickup is a very very warm dark pickup so it, it actually evens out the sound of the guitar and man it does it's great awesome and look, look at this anybody recognize this guitar i took this picture i don't know what guitar that is Huh? I don't know what guitar that is. You don't know any Jason Becker fan would know this guitar. It's got all these all these stickers all over it. Oh, so to speak of Jason Becker, I went to um, uh, Bill Kelly's bir uh, um, Bill Kelly. Bash. No, not birthday. Birthday uh, party. He had a block party. He had a block party today, and Bill Kelly is the guitar player from Van Hagar. 
and all of our buddies was there. So he shows me a bunch of his guitars, and one that he pulled out was a uh, the blue Carvin Jason Becker model guitar, just like the one that you see Jason Becker, you know, holding from the '80s, from the late '80s. What an amazing guitar it was! It's it was so comfortable. The ne it's neck through, just just a beautiful, beautiful guitar. That one. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's the one. Although that's the real one right there. Yeah, but that's I've got, that's exactly I've got another. Like. I've got another picture from when I was there. Oh, here's his birthday cake from that, from that party. <laughs> I haven't seen these pictures in years. Oh, oh, this is cool. There's a poster of, of his, uh, of his uh, the documentary, and then right above the poster. Is that? Yeah. And then, oh, look at this! Look how young I was. All right. <laughs> yeah, you were a little younger. In front of, wow. well, it was only like three years ago, <laughs> or whatever. But well, you should take that beard off again. <laughs> I almost did. <laughs> Mikey, there's, there's that one. You lose ten years. There you go. Mike Heath Papa Blue asked Dave. Back in the '80s, did some other guitar maker do a flame-shaped guitar? And the 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 answer is well, the only one was uh, Gem Guitars, Joe Despagni, uh, who built guitars for Steve before he went to Ibanez, or just before he went to Performance Guitars for that uh, Eat 'Em and Smile tour, and uh, and Ibanez. Uh, Joe was making his guitars. They were all funny shaped. You can see uh, one of them in the Yankee Rose video. It was a green Swiss cheese guitar mm -hmm. with different color uh, holes in it. And then in the in the Going Crazy video, it was this flame guitar, which was the one the one that Joe Despagni made. So yes, that is the only guy that made guitars for Steve Vai in the eighties, other than Ibanez, really. Dave, uh, on the screen, we got Ron Wood. Uh, playing the Strat with the prototype Floyd. That you gotta you, love uh, that. 1981. I was watching that last night, the uh, 81 Stones uh, show. Those are the screen caps behind me. But, yeah, uh, that's that's. I love that guitar. That's an awesome guitar. He plays it almost through the whole show. I mean, at least at least the first half of the show he plays that. And, uh, right. You know, it, it's it's funny watching that show. You know, thinking that Van Halen opened for them on a show very similar to this one, and. Uh, they, they're playing. They're all playing great, but there's no energy. I mean, the energy is just gone. I mean, they've been on the road for so long. But I mean, that I remember seeing this this film. It's called "Let's Spend the Night Together," mm -hmm. and it's an actual theatrical film of the Stones playing at uh, in Arizona back in '81. And um, I remember watching it and just you know thinking it was terrible because there was just no energy. Now watching it, I. I appreciate the music and they're all playing great and it's actually not a bad show but there's still just not a lot of energy and thinking of like that show back there where we're you know they're opening for uh you know van halen's opening for them at the tangerine bowl and it's i can just it, it sounds like they would have blown them off the stage to, you know it, it just i get that feeling you know mm -hmm. the stones were really a revival act at that point it seemed like oh cool when was that <laughs> is that when rock was that is that no, Rob? That's, that's, that's that's Rob. <laughs> no, all right. <laughs> that was Rob. No, this was probably uh, 20... Um, 2007? 2006, 7, yeah. Yeah. 6 or 7. Soda asks, what happened to performance guitars? Nothing. They're still in Hollywood. They're still building guitars. Um, you can order one. You can order a guitar from them. Uh, you're going to pay five thousand dollars and up for one, uh, and you know it'll be a one-off. But you can get them. There's a young Howie. <laughs> it's so weird when you go back on your iPhone uh, four years and look at all the pictures that are in there. Oh, he's got some of those miniature. Uh, he's got some of those those tiny guitar guitars too. Jason Becker. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at that! There's a there's a. What's the third one? A small uh, a small shark. It's a baby shark. 
a baby shark. Yeah, the third one. That that's a Jason Becker. That, oh, okay. That's a, yeah. Baby wow. Shark. The detail is great on those. Oh yeah. They'll probably come out with one of these pretty soon, I would think. An official one. That's not an official. That's like the one that, ha that hamburger was playing. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it looks like it. Well, <laughs> the hamburger was playing that guitar. That's funny. Where, where's, <laughs> where's, where's the tremolo? <laughs> there we are. Come on. The, the other JB. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hey. Oh my goodness! Um, Did any, any any of you guys see the uh, premiere guitar uh, tour of uh, the new Gibson tour? No. It's interesting. Uh, I posted it to um, Discord thing. Oh, oh, that was you, Ooh. man! You, oh, you're I, I, John BL. I appreciate you, man, because you're you're like I'm the I'm the only one out there. Still I, did you see? Did you notice? Did you notice that your, your name turned red in there? No. What does that mean? I, I made you a mod. Oh, okay. I made you a mod over there because you're always there. Well, now time. Mm -hmm. And who's right. this? Who's who's this guy? Hang on. <laughs> I showed you guys this. I showed you guys this a long time ago, and I don't think anybody got it. Larry David. It's, yeah, Larry David uh, on with Dave with David Lee Roth. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's Larry David Lee Roth. Going crazy. <laughs> That's very <laughs> funny. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. We need a poster of that. Oh, Funny. you'd ha you'd have that above your bed. Yeah, it's oh, great. It's just gross. <laughs> <laughs> face swap. Mike Neese asked love if face I swap. God. Yeah. Mike Neese asked if I painted the flame guitar. No, I didn't paint it. It was painted by my my uh, partner in uh, guitar building, uh, Nick Amendalora. So yeah, he painted it and I built it. Oh wow! Here, here's a cool picture, Jay. This is this this is a Jay Han and uh, Steve Anderson. You guys, you guys would dig this picture. Yep, there they are. Is that Cabo or no? That's just so you wait one too. That's a, a monsters. Looks like backstage at a monster. Looks tropical. Show. It's a very cool jacket that he's wearing. Yeah, look at that. It's like the uh, like almost guitar. like the Rasta or the uh, tape. Well, yeah. it looks it looks well, red, sure red, red white, and black. Is Mike wearing there? We're gonna have to make that one, John. That's right. Is it a cartoon sh shirt? What is it? I didn't see it. We'll just make it with the vest attached to it. <laughs> you know? so it like matter. one of the fake vests, like a tuxedo yeah. shirt. Yeah. There's the, there's the jacket. That's probably like a you know like a, I don't know like a what are they? Who, who's the fashion designer of the '80s that made all those jackets? The uh, uh, I don't know. It's oh, probably like a, an expensive jacket, is what I'm trying trying to say. Yeah, and then and he's that's, wearing that's a, like a yeah like tour shirt, girls tank shirt, homemade tank top. <laughs> they they sold those on tour. You could get those. That one. I remember Lipstick. those. That's cool. I'd wear that. Go, go back to Mike's. Go oh, back to Mike Mike's wear. shirt. Let's see if we can tell what shirt it actually is. <laughs> Ramones, maybe? No. It's hard to... Boobs? Can you tell know. what's on there, Johnny? Is it like... like Pete, is it, are, those, are those dudes on there standing there? Is it like a photograph of... Yeah, like, it's, all, it's, all, it's all people standing. Somebody's got to know what this is. Yeah, it's, it's all like people like standing. Somebody find a stage shot of that. I'm sure he wore it. It looks... Oh no! I was gonna say, it was it OU eight one two or? Oh, that's a good idea, man. Because yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure he yeah. Look, look for Michael Anthony during the Monsters of Rock shows, and you'll probably see him wearing that shirt. Because I'm sure he would have taken that vest off because that was a summer. Well, they all started with their they all started with a sports jacket on, didn't they? Super hot. Like in so. you know Sammy with the uh, that ugly one from Live Without a Net. Yeah. And Mike, Terrible. Mike had one too. Mike had the yellow one, I think. Mm -hmm. And this is like during Eddie's solo during like a Monsters show. Right there, man. The stuff you find on your phone from years ago. Yeah. 
My Keith Papa Blue. I'm not sure the name of the company that made that guitar with the flames going both ways. I really don't know. I think I've seen that guitar, but I don't know who made it. And Don Don Broyles. Uh, yes, Jason Becker is still alive. Yeah, I see Jake. Jake, I, I see Jason every uh, at least every couple of years. At least. podcast <laughs> well see you know john bl this is your show when it gets quiet you should say something it's all my responsibility every time it gets quiet that's right, right I'll, I'll be on top of that then oh. <laughs> uh no i was well if you guys hadn't seen the gibson tour uh on premier guitar that was pretty thorough i mean the guy they really went through every department uh of building the guitars and they really I, a Gibson is definitely trying to reinvent themselves. They're, I mean, not necessarily reinvent themselves, but rebuild that, uh, you know, division, the, the division, and you know their the reputation. I, I, their reputation, especially, yeah. And uh, I don't know. It's you guys will have to watch it, but it's, uh, it, you know, the, the quality is still there, and you can tell that they're put putting, you know trained uh not necessarily i guess I, I don't know if you'd call them luthiers but uh trained craftsmen on each uh <laughs> definitely it's saturday it's saturday <laughs> night and it's, uh, labor, it's labor day <laughs> so but anyway yeah uh, well yeah, you know so. the gibson custom shop is like a different entity that that has never uh gone south it's never gone in the toilet it's just gibson usa that's you know not good mm -hmm. oh bye johnny hey, oh we don't need johnny bean no but i was i was impressed with what they what they got going there and, and they're still i mean they're producing on on a huge level which you know may be a good thing or maybe a bad thing but uh uh you know it looks like the quality is still there, and I mean, we, we've seen all the uh, you know the videos of them destroying guitars and everything like that, and you can kind of see where that comes from. You know, when when a, a paint job goes bad, it, is it cheaper to just start over, or is it cheaper to re repaint it? You know, mm -hmm. that's the that's the argument, and that's kind of what their mentality was when we saw those things. Um, but I learned I learned a few things too. I when I was watching uh, them make the three thirty five, uh, I didn't realize it had a solid block in the in the middle, uh, and it was pretty much like. And I wrote I had written this in the writ wrote rep, in the chat in the chat last <laughs> night that the uh, it looks a lot like Les Paul's original log design where hmm. he had like a solid piece of wood and then just the hollow wings. Oh yeah, uh, I, I saw you make that that post. Yeah, yeah, I saw you uh, you wrote that. Josco Plumbing Supply asked David Nesdol, "Do you know why the Ibanez Gem Woody, with the Edge Zero Two trim, doesn't have a string retainer bar?" Uh, I can only guess why. Um, the headstock is made out of a, a very rare wood called crotch mahogany, and they probably just wanted to not. Uh, you know what it is, Jay? Yes, I do. Okay. So I guess with the Edge Zero Two. I don't know if I th I thought they stopped making the string retainer bar altogether with the newer nuts, but I guess they they don't anymore. But what it is is um, the ones that don't have the string retainer bar, the groove goes deeper. Like they started, I guess, making the nut where it actually goes farther. Jesus, I'm all backwards here. It goes farther down, so it doesn't you know kind of eliminates the need for the string retainer bar. Basically, that's I read up on it when I was trying to get a nut for that other guitar, because I was like, man, I need one that that has this that works with the string retainer bar. But that's basically what it is. I was I wasn't expecting this to have the string retainer bar either, but I guess uh, maybe it's just with the Edge Zero Two. Well, what's up have. with that string retainer bar? What do you mean? That it's blurry? No, yeah. You, did you say you didn't expect that? Yeah, I, th I, th I was under the influence that all the newer Ibanez had the nut that doesn't need the string retainer bar. But maybe with the low pro, there's something, maybe it just is a part of it or whatever. But that is the reason. Mm -hmm. I guess if you look, the groove or the angle, I guess it is, goes deeper 
or something towards that know. stock where you don't need the string retainer bar. So basically, that's it. Okay. Well, I, I can't stand any Floyd Rose locking thing without a string retainer bar. It, that headstock, when it, it has a Floyd nut on it, mm -hmm. to my eyes, it needs a string retainer bar. If it doesn't yeah. have one, there's something missing. Well, you could see. I mean, you know, you could see that if the string retainer bar wasn't there, you know, the angle – it wouldn't go down far enough. Yeah, know? well, that's the problem. A lot of people don't realize that that if the string doesn't make contact with the back of that nut, when mm -hmm. you clamp down on the Floyd, it's everything is going to go super sharp. Yep. Yep. So okay. it's just a different, differently designed nut eradicating the need for the string retainer bar. Yeah, I guess that mm -hmm. was a better, easier way to to describe it. <laughs> So it looks like mine is properly installed. I think. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You might need to actually uh, um, clean that, that screw, it, screw, it, screw it in just a little bit more. It's almost all the way in. Works for me for now. See, like on this, on this, it's not going sharp. You're all right. Look at this. See how? Uh, see yeah, how that's pretty low. I have it so that it's you know really. Mm -hmm. I do that with all my guitars so that it's, yeah, it's absolutely a, no question that it's touching the back of that nut. Mm -hmm. You don't and want it, too much of an angle though. And then, well, it doesn't really, it, it doesn't really hurt it. And the more, the, the more of an angle that there, there is, the more chance that when you clamp down on that nut, it's not going to go flat or sharp. It's just going to clamp in tune. Makes sense. So yeah, <laughs> podcast. So, uh, now. You. Podcast. I'm in Santa Cruz. I can do it, but there you go. I, never, I never have. Nobody believes me, man. Nobody believes me. I've never touched the stuff. You got any questions in the chat? Any you guys have? Seen, have you seen any questions? Yeah, uh, they're all asking why. Why? Why are we here? <laughs> why not? When we Guitar got... Hack has been live ten times tonight. Why are we here? We got sixty-eight watching. I see 27 wow. thumbs up. I don't know oh. if uh, that's accurate, but we better step it up here, boys. There's 68 watching. I've I've got an unboxing, which I actually I've had for almost a week now. Well, then hurry up and unbox it. Already. I just haven't haven't. Uh, well, let's do it. Haven't done it. It's it's, it's, it's uh, Jay. Are they here? No, Boner James is not here. But should I just go ahead and do it? If you're gonna have to wait till next next Friday. Yeah, next Friday. So. <laughs> May as well do it. You can watch the repeat. <laughs> that well, was funny. Oh, well, wait, wait. We got 69 people in the chat. Press one or say yes if you want me to open it. Press no if you want me to wait. Or say wait. Thank you, Brett McCord. Let me know. I can I can wait all day. How face how face says is your head stock angled back? Yes, it is. For the most part, all the Ibanez that have that style headstock are all angled back. But there's some, you know, obviously well, the exceptions like the AZs and stuff like that. And the AZs, the Andy Tip the Andy Timmons, and the Joe Satriani. Joe Satriani, that's right. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's what I am. I'm an original AZ. <laughs> what? All right. Ar Arizona. That's I'm oh. I'm originally from Arizona. R2 says yes. Ron says one. I forgot what that even means. Uh, <laughs> Zach says yes. Soda says spill the beans. Everyone's so want, everyone wants you to open it. Soda. I saw. You, I think I saw your thing earlier. Yeah, yeah, Ned is awesome. I don't know if you guys watched my, my Oh, yeah, Ned night, the cat. But I've got a brand new cat. His name is Ned. And he's, he's awesome. He's very cool. If he would come in the house, I'd show him to you guys, but he, he won't come in here. Who named him? Uh, the lady or the guy that found him in the bushes. Can 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 the show give him a last name? Steinberger. It's got to sure. be Steinberger. <laughs> <laughs> it's got to be right. <laughs> At least I'm not the only one that that thought of that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I thought of uh, uh, Ned Michael Beatty. Wasn't that his name? <laughs> no reaction. <laughs> Ned Beatty. You know, you know, we had a we had a Michael Beatty in the. We had a, we had a, a horrible stalker and troll named Michael Beatty for a long time that threatened all of us. It was horrible. 
And uh, I don't know. He's not here now, so hopefully he's gone forever. Well, he might be under a different name here. Yeah, he could know. be. Probably got a he could name. be. But Ned uh, Michael Beatty. What, what where's the ding, ding, ding button? I like uh, Ron Paget says Nettie Van Halen. There you go. <laughs> yeah, that's the one. That's good. That is good. <laughs> Uh, so what should I do it? Should I open yeah, it? Should I wait? It Absolutely. Okay. Is that the cat you were hanging around? What? Uh, Brett, are hanging around my house. No, no, no. That was Buttons, the one that was always outside. And no, she's gone. Oh, she's gone. A coyote got her. Oh. And we're it's it's hor yeah it's. You didn't unbel- find Buttons, right? I didn't, but my neighbor did. Oh, oh okay. Well, at least you know. At least you know it's like she's not he, lost. He 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 brought her over, and he's he's like, "Is this your cat?" And and I'm like, "Yes, that is." Oh, yeah, terrible. it was. And in a in a way, in a way, it, it made it easier just to know that that she's just not. Who knows where? You know. Right. Closure. Yeah, oh, yeah, that's, yeah, so that's definitely what it did. Definitely, definitely. Um. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Showman. It's unbelievable that 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 something got her because she was so she was just so uh, alert to that all the time. And uh, all right, I'll do this real quick, real quick. Now, now that is, everybody's bummed out and yeah. sad, <laughs> let's let's, I gotta, yeah, let's do. Some I gotta happy. go find my cat and hug it. Happy stuff. Yeah. <laughs> What's on the, uh, uh, the the passion and warfare? Uh, something about happy stuff, peace and love, and good happiness stuff. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. It's great, man. Howie's great. Chickens are great. Ned is great. Is that it, Dave? Yeah. Hopefully, we don't have flag. This is a ballad that I wrote. I can't remember the rest of it. And he messes it up. This is a ballad that I wrote. It's all. It's about peace and love and good happiness stuff. Yes. Okay. Here we go. Unboxing here. Oh, whoops! I think, that, I think that shows what it is. Okay. Oh, it's a it's a uh, uh, New York Andy's Ranger. It's a New York <laughs> Ranger. Uh, doll. Yeah, Mike Richter, or from Total Recall. Welcome to the party, Richter. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty terrible, but we need Jared Frost for that. Man, that's yeah. that's that's my old governor, man. For the Arnold uh, impersonation. Okay. Oh. Germany. Is wow. it pedal? Is it pedal? Professional Something? gear for musicians. Richter. Damn you killed her. Richter. And this is Damn from Damn you killed her. This is from it's it's Boner Jams, right? Boner Jams. Boner Jams. Boner Jams. Dude. Bandolier? The belt? <laughs> Chewbacca? <laughs> Bandolier. <Yeah. laughs> Where's the bullets? Let's see this. Oh, it's. Uh, man, I got no room on my desk here. Well, it's not supposed wow. to go on the desk. Is that for like the bedroom? Is that like an like S and M type stuff? <laughs> oh, it's a guitar, guitar strap. strap. Oh my gosh! Nice. Wait a minute. Is it one or two? How do you? Oh, is it the triple strap? Strap on? <laughs> is it? Wasn't I talking about? Who, who was some... showing the triple strap? Uh... Yeah, but what is that for? How do you? Do... Wasn't I talking about some sort of double guitar strap one time? Yeah, this was um, I don't know, maybe six to eight months ago, right? We we talked about the Matt Heafy from Trivium. The se- yeah, the second, str- uh, the third strap coming over your your right shoulder. I have no idea how to how to use it. It looks well, like. Sure. Or, uh, Holy cow! Is there an instruction manual? Are you sure it's just not two straps? They're connected, right? No, they're 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 connected. The no, the other no, one. No, they is, are. It, it's like on top. Right, let's get to the bottom of this. It's it's like, I wish he was here. He could explain this. Is he it, ain't explaining nothing. Is it a battle for a horse? <laughs> <laughs> He's not to explain anything. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Who's Matt Heffy? Matt Heafy is the guitar player from Trivium. There you this go. Is, yeah, this guy, this we had a, him on the show. We had him on the show. He was the guy right. that was, you know, all over the place. Okay, well, this is the Matt Heafy signature strap. 
That's what it says. Yeah, we That's never had Matt Heafy on the show. Uh, well, we we definitely you guys definitely showed the strap. <laughs> you, somebody was promoting it. Yeah, whatever. Mike Heafy, who cares? Okay. Uh, that was David Nesdall. Everybody. <laughs> okay, I don't know how we're, I'm gonna have to John BL, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to research this and find out how to use this. But anyway, dude, thank you so much, man. This is this is cool. Oh my gosh. Well, there must be two places where you can lock it onto the the strap buttons, and then there's how do you connect I'm the third one? Assuming that the one strap is goes you know on the normal shoulder, and then the other one probably goes on the other shoulder just to give you more. But how does it connect to the guitar? It connects to the other to the strap. the The secondary strap connects to the main strap. Connects to the dude. Grab. Do you have a guitar with um, reg regular? Stram, yeah, whatever the hell they're called. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, well, let's see. Let's see if you can. Uh... But how does this work? Let's find out. I yeah, yeah. Let's... I don't understand because the end of this. It's... Well, we we got time. Let's. It's like this is this is a you know <laughs> we got time. <laughs> was, it, was it wasn't last week like six hours? Yeah. Well, half half of it was just was uh, it, that was last week. Chatting. Tone Tone King, right? Was that last? No, week? no. Yeah, you yeah, kept, was. well, you kept the chat going like uh, on the Saturday night, and that was like two hours of chat after the actual. Oh, show. I kept the chat going for like two hours. Yeah, that's yeah. right. That's right. Oh, by the Wait way, Tone second. King, thank you, man. Tone King, he thanked he thanked us for for uh, last night on his stream. He thanked us for last night <laughs> for, uh, for, for, for 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 hanging out. Thanks for last night, Johnny. <laughs> oh, Phil Mosley says that it goes on the other shoulder but wraps around the body of the guitar between the pickups. Oh, all right, that's what I thought. Yeah, because I was just wondering how it connected to the guitar because it had physically it has to it takes some of the all, weight. What the about weight. all this? Is this just design? That is holds, it, all, holds all your guitar picks. It looks like a bunch of tape. It probably Maybe. is. Well, if this is this guy's Mike Mike Heffy, if this is his signature strap, Matt then Heath. maybe maybe his looks looks like this. Because look at that. Is yeah. that a Trivium uh, uh, logo? I have no idea. I I really have no idea what I'm doing. Johnny, grab a guitar. And then it's it's got extra stuff too. It's got like. Is that hardware? Some sort of hardware, yeah. It's like a key. I, I don't think there's no. There's no instructions. There's no it's a chastity belt. I was just gonna say maybe it's the key to your chastity belt, Johnny. That thing's never coming off. <laughs> okay, I'll I'll uh we gotta figure it out. R2 R3 said to wear it like off, a though. You gotta wear huh? it like a jock strap. <laughs> <laughs> like a jock strap. I, I gotta take these headphones off though. I'm I'm gonna disappear for a second because I, I can't deal with this with the headphones. Deal what? with what? Deal with yeah. What is he? Oh, because he have, have to put. I get it. If he's got to put it on, he should pull up a picture of Heefy wearing it. Heefy, Heefy, Weefy. I guess Johnny won't be sending this video to me. And hey, we unboxed the strap on the show. Check it out. Nope. How the hell do you use this? Thing? Mike Neat says it features a second strap that is simply slung around the shoulder of your strumming hand. This offers a 60-40 weight distribu distribution and is a lifesaver no matter no matter your musical level. All right. I can understand where it would help with a little bit of the weight distribution. Can you, can you pull up a picture of like what Richter guitar strap or something so Johnny can like look at it to see? Exactly what the hell to do? Fine. He puts it on a guitar with no strings. <laughs> you guys are watching me? No, <laughs> not at all. So, John, where does this other part go? 
I guess it wraps around your the other body, shoulder. The body between the pickup and the. Hold on a second, but I thought Mike Nee says it features a second strap that is simply that... strong slung oh. around the shoulder of your strumming hand. Oh, it doesn't go down here then. Oh. <laughs> Hang on. What? Put, around the shoulder. Put it over your back. Like over your shoulder, boulder holder. Yeah. Like you're like you're parachuting. What's what's the guy's first name? Rick? Is it uh, Matt? Rick? Matt Heafy is the. Oh, is the... All right. You're gonna hurt yourself trying to put it on. I, I'm trying to go. save my back. From where you know, you know what? I, th I think you need a you need a third. You probably need a third. Oh, it goes. Oh, it goes under the That's string. How it goes. Yeah, that what is if you have a So it's off. just kind of holding as much of the mass of the body as. I mean, and well, it wouldn't fit on every guitar, I'm sure. But can can, can you can you scroll down? Scroll down to where? <laughs> scroll. Let, let me see. Wow, that's. Oh, so it's it's hand. on the other shoulder. See, yeah, and that's on the other side. Oh, that makes sense. You just had to look at it. Huh? Rib, ribs on there. Oh, wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> no, this still doesn't make sense. <laughs> wait a minute. Oh, let me side. see. Oh, is there a the better side. picture? So it looks like the bandolier part is the front. That is a dumbass strap. Well, you know, if, if you're having back problems, I can see where it might help a little bit. But Oh, know. and he's got that stupid felt thing at the headstock, too. Yeah, because that makes sense. What's he got an epiphone? Is that an epiphone? Oh, that part comes off. Eh. Okay, a part of this comes off. I see. Wait. Wait. Oh, oh, wait. Does, wait a minute. Oh, that doesn't make sense. I want to see this. Johnny, put, put the camera back on you. Yeah. I'm... This. Oh, can I see that? <laughs> wait a minute. What? You're still trying to figure it out? Let me see it again. So so there's like a regular strap and then there's the strap on the other side. I'm trying I'm trying to figure out where this I'm trying to figure out wait. Well you have one. It was given to me. Wait a minute. Oh, why'd I click that? It, it was given to me. I'm trying to figure out where this goes. Well, I don't know. Cause see why does the other strap the other the strap... that makes no sense. It, it's yeah, it's gonna come up back and around, and then it's gotta connect back to that uh, or that little. Does it connect to the back of that somehow? Oh, poor Johnny. <laughs> I'll go down like a. There's no strings on that, right? Wow. So I'll just go right over. Yeah, there's no strings on it. Well, that's so actually good. So you, can, you helps, can. Yeah. Yeah. That actually works, Jay. What does this thing on on the guitar? No shit. Man. It actually works. <laughs> well, they're they're, they're lifesaver like while recording, man. I still don't like it. This can't be here though. I don't. I don't use it for uh, while I'm like practicing. Or anything like that because like i said before when you're trying to learn stuff and just jam you know <laughs> part of the whole thing is learning to control the instrument and controlling extra strings and noise but while while recording and tracking especially when you're you know coming up with cool effects and stuff and uh you know like for instance for instance i was instance. tracking an underneath part that's going to go behind um, you know, the recording, and all I was doing is 
Okay, some whammy bar stuff, you know, and just having that there can kind of just mute the other strings so nothing is uh, going crazy. So there you go. That's all. How'd you get that thing to fit your seven string guitar? Is it made for the seven string, that one? Yeah, they make these are the large ones. I get them large. These are the magnums, Sen. <laughs> Sen? Did you just call me Sen? <laughs> yeah. So look, it has the, uh, shows the size comparison. It's got the Nez doll. Wait, 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 wait. Medium large. Okay. Yeah, bring it back. I got the shakes, man. Look at that. Spare it is. me. Bring it forward all the way. <laughs> Put it close. <laughs> <laughs> so john we're gonna have to work on that we're gonna we're, we're gonna have to figure out how this how this strap works um uh, i don't know what i can do i can i can guide you i guess no 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 around he, the... well, you're gonna have to bend over while he puts the strap on. <laughs> um, so let's, let's so hey so boner jams right Yes. Boner Jams. Uh, Thank you so much, man. Thank you. Thank you. Just got to figure it out because it, it's, it's different. It's definitely, it's definitely different. <laughs> it looks like a quality strap, you know, uh, all, is it all yeah. leather pretty much? Yeah, it's, it's nice. It's, it's really nice. It's really yeah, it looks nice. nice. It's yeah, really the, nice. The price is, uh, isn't nice though. Well, for Johnny, well, that's for Johnny. Price. Yeah. Well, for, yeah, for <laughs> Rick, a nice price for him. It's from Germany. It's got to be great. Yeah, it's true. Um, okay, so yeah, we can look it up. We we can uh, get some instructions. Yeah, definitely. I'll uh, I'm gonna have some time tomorrow. I'll, I'll be stagged tomorrow, actually, all day. So I'll have some time to to figure it out. And, and Mike Nee says he can't send the link for instructions on here. I'll try to find oh. it. Oh. John Biel's for John Biel, producer. You yeah. just—you already like, said uh, you'd do it. John Biel, hello. <laughs> you. Hello, hello. John, John Biel doesn't 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 John take Biel instructions on on Saturday night. <laughs> he not home. He's nobody home. He's no, he, no. He's giving instructions. No, no, no. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Jay, why does it look like you look? Why does it look like you're looking right at John Biel? <laughs> now give him a kiss. <laughs> Vintage Sounds asks, uh, "Where's the captain? Have you heard from the captain, Johnny?" Yes, I did. I, I got a text. I, I texted him. Oh, it's good to hear and, from. And I heard from him. Uh, was it yesterday? Yeah, yesterday afternoon he sent me a text, and he's doing I, all right. I think it was yet or the day before, and yeah, yeah, he's good. I saw him posting. He's he's, he's back to his uh, regular postings on Facebook. Yeah, so I saw point. that. I saw that. So yeah, yeah, he'll be back. He'll be back in action very soon. Different than Johnny's regular strap, Dan Halen. It's totally different than my regular strap, man. Strap on. Mm -hmm. Can you use it as a, just a double, a regular strap, or yeah, yeah, yeah. So if, yeah. If, 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 yeah, you you can, you can. You see, it, right now it's just a regular, and then that other piece is over there. Hmm. Uh -huh. You gonna ever put strings on that guitar? Yeah, I just i i got to get the the that i got to get that Floyd intonated. It's not intonated at all. We need strings in order so to do that. Even if I was to string it up, it, it, it would be out of tune. That's genuine leather, soft, finely textured, natural Napa leather from Italy. Nice. Oh, nice. man. Thank you, Vintage Sounds. Appreciate it. Yeah. That flame guitar is something else. You see? Oh. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> well, and, and that flame guitar made me think of uh, another uh, as they were showing some of the Gibson stuff uh, when they did the the sunbursts, how they were doing the sunbursts or the whatever mm -hmm. burst. Uh, it was cool the to see. Yeah. The way they paint it. 
Yeah. The tops. Yeah. <clears throat> the different, you know, they have to tape off certain parts. And I mean, they, you know, a lot of attention to detail. Mm hmm. Well, if they're good, they don't have to tape anything off. They can just do it. Well, they I mean they, they tape off like a barrier, so they know that I mean if the paint sprays over there, it's gonna it's not gonna get on the body, it's just gonna kinda go off to the side. You know? they, they... Mm -hmm. And like the uh uh the binding too, where they actually have people called scrapers who just scrape the paint off the binding because you know, it's it's more efficient to rather than taping off the binding as you're painting it to just mm -hmm pull the paint off basically. and they're so good at it that they can do it in one shop just like whoosh, and that's it and it's done it's all they all use awesome. custom custom tools that they sharp you know they constantly are sharpening and, and refining you know to make the perfect tool for them yeah uh-huh so. what else uh, is in the news <laughs> um uh, a couple towns over. I don't know if you, this made national news. I don't know if you guys saw it here in Santa Cruz, in in a city near where I am. Uh, somebody left their dog in the car, and the dog. No, no, no. Now this is where it gets hilarious. The dog ended up uh, hitting the the gear stick, and the car ended up like backing up into like a, a house or a wall or something. It's still. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Like... <laughs> National yeah. news, though. Yeah. Apple well, California, which is right here. It's a smart dog. I'll give him that. Mm -hmm. And the picture of him, it's the dog in the car smiling in the driver's seat. So did the did the uh, owner get a, you know get fined or anything? Or I don't know. Yeah. It should have. Absolutely. Fruitcake Tony, I'm, uh, the project is is still going. It's it's uh I haven't touched it in, in a week or so, but uh, we're still at the second coat of black on it. So. Oh, oh, I'll get it taped up at some point. It's just been a busy couple of weeks. Oh, oh, you're talking about guitar. The guitar, yeah. <laughs> my my project. <laughs> but thanks for asking. <laughs> Wait, when does school start back up for you, John? Last week. Oh man. Yeah. So it's back to the grind. But it was a good week. It was a, you know, for our first week back, it's, it was a, you know, can be chaotic, but it was actually pretty good. Uh, the dog got a barking ticket? <laughs> <laughs> the dog got a ticket? Oh. <laughs> what, what, what grade again, John? I'm doing seventh of this year. Seventh? Yeah, it's it changes from year to year pretty much, but uh, it's the same as the last the last couple of years. So it's I'm used to, you know. Now, do, these, do these kids all know that you're a you know rock star on a YouTube channel and stuff like that? Hell no, <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, not at all. If they find it, hey, you know, and they can laugh about it, you know, it's I'm it's nothing, you know, that I want to hide, but you know, I'm certainly not going to advertise it. <laughs> Sometimes it's inappropriate for for young kids. So. Well, seventh graders. I mean, that's what uh, twelve. Well, that's, a, that's kind 13? of the good thing about at that age that you can still kind of you know you can introduce them to like certain bands and stuff, and they they're still not at that point where they've kind of made up their mind about you know they're either going to go and like you know listen to hip hop all the time or dance music or something. But there's still plenty of kids who are you know rock you know rockers who who still promote it and you know listen to it and there's a lot of there's a guitar there's a lot of guitar players young guitar players there and i'm part of the guitar group uh or i myself and another teacher run the guitar group so well, that's cool we've got about i don't know 15 kids who are uh who we're kind of teaching and we do a, a short recital with the band recital and do a few guitar tunes that's so, awesome doing what i can to keep it keep the torch how much for, how much time are you actually able to like do that during school hours? Is it you know two hours a week or no probably an hour a week? It's a half hour, two days a week. So um, you know it's and and when it gets close to you know the concert time, we'll we'll put a few more hours in. But uh, they're pretty simple. I mean, it's simple stuff. It's it's no core. It's pretty much just single you know mm -hmm. uh, single note stuff. Hmm. But it's Did fun. 
Vintage Sounds ask, hey, is there anyone that could get an original Floyd Rose from the late 70s? If there's uh, anyone, it's David Crystal. I have one. I have a very clean one from 79. How clean mm -hmm. is that price for it? It's not for sale. Hey, million dollar man Ted DiBiase said it best. Everybody's got a price. Well, yeah, but the price I would want for it, who's going to pay it? Hey, you never know. It's only going to go up in value, most who likely. Who asked about it? Uh, vintage Sounds. Vintage Sounds. Well, I mean, if somebody wants something like that, they know they're going to have to pay for it. Mm -hmm. Mad Dog, we got to see your uh, your Bobby Orr guitar. What is that all about? You see that? Says Mad Dog says, just put the Floyd in my Boston Bruins Bobby Orr guitar. Should send us a picture of that. And if you want to, uh, if you want to call in, you can call in to Johnny and leave a message. <laughs> we always get some interesting yeah. messages on Saturday, Saturday night. Lines are open. Uh, I'm, the, I'm the taking numbers, phone calls. Numbers in the description. <laughs> Uh, or if you want to send a picture of your Boston Bruins guitar. <laughs> Rena Pinkle asks, opinions on the DiMarzio Super 3 versus the Distortion. Boys? Hmm. Is that six or seven string? <laughs> uh, it's six string. The Super 3, I mean, the Super 3 sounds great. I mean, uh, Phil Collin uses it in his guitars. I think it sounds great. Mm -hmm. There you go. I don't have any experience with either of those, so I I don't know. Super Distortion is pretty good sounding pickup. I have them in a couple of guitars here. I, I mean, not something that I use all the time. They're in they're in a couple of Van Halen replicas. Cool. Mm -hmm. <laughs> lines are open. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, lines are open. Call now. First. Uh... First nine callers get hung up on. <laughs> no, yeah, first caller gets sent to voicemail. We should do it. We should do a trivia or something where they could call in. You know, get a yeah. We should do a trivium. Do trivium. A trivia. We already we did the trivium. We should do a trivium. Okay, I'll be careful. It's too, too confusing with the trivium. My phone's gonna start ringing. <laughs> Night butt's in here. It should Night. be. Night butt. <laughs> Here, let me see. <laughs> night, butt. night butt. Stop that. Night butt. Vincent Sound says, hey, David Nesdal, can you make a copy of the original Floyd Rose? I guess it could be done. It'd be a lot of money because you have to, I mean, the tooling is uh is ridiculous well isn't I, that what they did with the the bumblebee the new bumblebee they fabricated all the all the well, uh, but, EVH, but evh and fender has the money to do that absolutely you know? yeah i would imagine it costs thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars to do one but know? in 79 wasn't he fabricating them himself no floyd rose made them they so th it was all factory uh, factory built at that time it wasn't handmade oh right? you mean floyd uh they it, were hand uh, they were hand tooled uh, the 79, the earliest versions. Yes, yeah, they were hand-tooled, yeah. Retooling, I'll retool you. Well, if you know how to work metal, I, I would think it's, you know, you, you just need a milling machine and uh, I don't know. I mean, I don't know how to work metal myself. Isn't, but Isn't David Allen Wright making some of the uh, older? No, he's, he's not making any of them. Actually, Jim Francis uh, has made or has the uh frt fives remade hmm. but you know it was like five hundred dollars each of everyone who bought one they were five hundred dollars a piece and well i mean was, that makes was, sense yeah but there was a lot of them to you know that the, you know there were a lot of people that ordered them that's mm -hmm. why they were 500 but you know i'm not sure how many were made to make the i don't know i don't know it's i'm i'm tired <laughs> I, can't think. I can't think straight Yes. <laughs> yeah, all right. So quiet. 
Oh my god! Ah, what else? It's like this is a very you know, the, the momentum is a little uh, slow today. <laughs> you know what it is? I've I've been out. I've been out in the sun all day. I'm exhausted. Yeah. Uh huh. Well, like tell Chris. tell us more about that. Yeah. What was it? It was like? it was a block party. It was you know there was uh, uh, Bill made um, brisket and and ribs and. Uh, pulled pork and there was a whole bunch of food there it was uh, it was a lot of fun just a lot of fun a lot of people were there mm -hmm. we talked about guitars we you know we talked about everything we just all hung out Everyone. sounds like fun yeah it's a great time mm -hmm. beautiful and who, too. and who was there it was you i can't i don't even know all the people that were there but as far as people we know um it was um so uh, why, why did you call me by the way because I, because someone had asked me, who sang the backup? The the, the it sounded like a girl singer. Sounded, this was when this is when I was going to tell Jay. Well, I'm not going to say it on here what, but I I was about to respond back to Jay, and all of a sudden my phone rings, blocks the message. Oh well, I didn't know that. <laughs> it blocked it. I I was about to hit send, and, and uh, oh, we saw that. Hmm. Um. <laughs> And then and then Dave calls me up. And, yes, and, and I said, "Don't I said, give the answer. Don't give. Said, let's see. If I'm, the not chat gonna, I'm not going to. I'm not going to give the, the chat. Answer. Let's see if the chat can guess what. Who's saying background on what on? Uh, uh, could this be magic? And um, vintage sounds. German Floyd roses cost around two hundred dollars. So yes, they are cheaper. Mm-hmm. Well, that's a good question. Uh, are there three voices on that, if I'm not mistaken, or is there just two? There's probably a few. Well, three I people. Would, I would, well, I, I would guess they're all singing background, and somebody else is is in the mix as well, singing, and that's what we're trying to figure out. Someone other than is. someone other than the people in Van Halen, a band member, yeah, You're right. Yeah, uh, soda. The, the bridge from the from the Lost Boys. That's actually in. Um, it's right above Los Angeles. It's actually that actual bridge. It's actually it's right across from uh, Magic Mountain in L.A. So if you're driving, you know, south, you go through the the, the grapevine or whatever it is, going really? down down the hill, going down all those hills. There's the uh, Magic Mountain. And then, literally, right across from that, on the other side of the freeway, is that bridge that they filmed that scene. Mm -hmm. and, and Renus Pinkle has the answer. Yes, Google. <laughs> you mean has the answer? <laughs> well, Google has it, and <laughs> Renus Googled. So, so why did you ask me that, though? Why? Because someone asked me who 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 was it, and I couldn't remember her name. I was like, I know it's a female, and I was going to say Patty Smythe, but I said no, that didn't make sense because. That she wasn't with them until after, so and I couldn't remember her Nicolette Larson, Larson's name, and that's why I called you. I figured you'd know it right away. Mm -hmm. Did she get credit on that album anywhere? Do you know? Uh, Jumpy. I mean, aside Jump from aside from, <laughs> you know, thirty years later. <laughs> I don't, I don't think know. so because we would have known I that. Did, yeah. It wouldn't have Nick Larson was one of those names that always kept coming up when, when in Eddie Van Halen interviews or stuff like that. So she, and then uh, w at least when I first started look, looking into Van Halen, that was one of the names that um, you know Ed recorded something with her in the early '80s, correct? And then she kind of returned the favor and re uh, Nic Nicolette Larson, I believe, was dating Ted Templeman. I think that I think they were dating. dating. Uh, Greg Renoff is Greg Renoff here. He would know. He would know for sure. Yeah. Um, and as a favor to Ted, Eddie did a guitar solo on a Nicolette Larson song called "Can't Get Away from You." And if you look at her, if you look at the album under that song, under the credits, it says guitar, and then it has a question mark. Oh. <laughs> But you listen to that and you know it's it's Eddie. It's unmistakable that that's him from that's 1978 Eddie. Wow, that's okay. one I haven't heard actually. You've never jump me up, jump me up. Put that in the Discord. Put it. I in the will. Discord. I'll check. You've never heard that? Yeah. Wow, I, I'm sure I've heard it back at some point, but I'm not familiar. You know, it's a cool familiar. solo. It's actually it's not a bad song. It's not a bad tune, but it's definitely uh, 1978 Eddie Van Halen. 
Um, uh, yes, Nicolette Larson. Yes, yeah, she passed away. Um, I think in the nineties. Oh, hmm. drugs? No. Yes, please. Oh, <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> No, she had cancer, I believe. Oh, that sucks. I'm sorry. Vintage Sounds asks if if it's uh, if the Floyd Rose is 200 bucks after putting titanium and big blocks on it. No, no, that is just the Floyd Rose as he would get it from Floyd Rose. It's about 200 dollars. And I mean, as Pinkle yeah, says, that's just that's you know if you're gonna get a. Uh, a real Floyd, that's what you got to expect to pay anyway, right? Yeah. I mean, at least. Well, most bucks. people, yes. Yeah. Uh, Reese Pinkle says, I lost it. David, does your PV Wolfgang with the sustainer eat batteries like crazy? No, it does not. How do, how do the active uh, guitar, I, I've never had an active guitar. Is it whenever it's plugged in, the, yeah. the powers run through it? Correct. Like a pedal, pretty much. Mm hmm. Yeah, the minute you un, you take the jack out, it doesn't eat the battery at all. Can you use? I'm glad you said out. Can you use an active <laughs> pickup passively? No, or at all, it's you've got to use the battery or nothing. Yeah. Well, the pickup will still work. Oh. <laughs> you won't get any sound out of it at all. No. <laughs> <laughs> Don't yeah, uh, you, you should be able to like, just, even even with a switch if you could get a passive mode out of it, you know. Just, but I'm sure some of them. I don't think. I don't be. think. Well, not an EMG. I don't think. I think once the battery's dead, you, you don't get sound. Because I I talked to somebody about two weeks ago about this and asked them if they put um, EMGs in uh, in an Ibanez, and I was like, oh god. And this was back in 2005. And I was like, how often do you have to change your uh, batteries? And he's like, what do you mean? I'm like, <laughs> how often do you change the batteries for, for your pickups? He's like, I, I never changed them. Rod Pad Ron Padgett says, when the battery dies, it's done. And Dr. Jimmy also says, no, not in the Clapton guitar. So that doesn't work. When, when, the, when the battery's dead, they don't work. Wow. I'm going to have to ask him, what the hell is he talking? Because if that's the case, because I've never had a guitar with actives in it. Um, and I remember having a, a when I had my I had a few Clapton strats with the batteries when the when battery was done you don't get sound. Oh, I thought they just sounded like crap. But they a, a, a battery shouldn't last uh, fourteen years. Well, no. they last a long time. You can under any in, condition in a, in a Clapton strat, especially. I remember not changing the battery for maybe two years, and it sounded great until but but just. It just died at like two years. Mm -hmm. And you have to unplug it. Mm -hmm. You leave it plugged in and it eats the battery. Or as some people say, plug it out. <laughs> plug it out, please. Mm -hmm. And I, I went ahead and put the uh, Nicolette Larson song with the Eddie Van Halen guitar solo in the Discord. Cool. My, one of my dogs is going bananas. I'll be right back. <laughs> Going, going for, for bananas. Oh. Wow. <laughs> Vintage Sounds asks if Jonathan Mancuda has any old Floyd Floyd Rose stuff. I don't know. You'd have to ask him. He's got over 300 guitars, so I really don't. I don't think he has any Floyd Roses sitting around, but if he has them on old guitars, you'd have to ask him. There we go. There's the angle. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. and you guys got to jump on the you guys watching you guys watching you guys you guys got to join right. us right you guys got to join discord. us in, in the discord you guys you have to because we've got so it's much not behind. it's not as bad as you think it's, it's we have just... so many behind the scenes thank you johnny bean highlights thank you uh nightbot there's a link to the discord you guys you guys want it jump in we have so much behind the scenes stuff over there and in fact i just added the the nicolette larson uh, eddie van halen song in the discord so it's in there right now underneath the johnny bean tv section and john bl he added some uh a, a blooper reel or, or outtakes or whatever from the hbo show veep 
and our good friend Mancuda was on that show, and you yeah. could see him. You could spot, see him. Spot him in the background. See and if it's like a Where's Waldo? Like three. There's like three, three different takes where you can see him in the background. Yeah, yeah. Discord doesn't work on Chromebook. I have a uh, Chromebook right here. This is what I'm using. Chromebook. I've, I've got a MacBook. It, I've got a MacBook Air, and it works. That's how Johnny communicates with me, pretty much through Discord. <laughs> that's all. Yeah, that's all. We we don't sell. We don't send snail mail to each other. We we use the Discord. Well, John Biel and I. We do. We've done snail mail. Actually, we. You have. just sent. You just sent me. Uh, thank oh. you, for Fruitcake Tony. Oh, and you sent me a bunch of stickers. That's right. And other stuff. <laughs> a bunch of stinkers. That's right, stickers. That's that's my. Remember when uh, John Biel first when he first jumped onto these? He, he sent us. He sent us all. You ready, Jay? Uh, okay. Yeah, he he sent us all uh, uh, magazines and stickers and stuff. Remember that? Uh, it's Modelo time. Yeah, I figure <laughs> we got to liven up the party somehow here. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Cheers. Hold on, I'm trying to get the foil out of the way. It's the one annoying thing about this. Right, let's see if we can. Wait, well, wait. Oh, now I'm under Johnny. <laughs> <laughs> Got to reconfigure it. <laughs> I don't have anything. I'll have one for you. For you? Yeah. We'll each we'll each have one for you. I have one for you. Um. Yeah, you guys. Yeah, join the Discord, please. You got. You guys are. You guys, anybody, if you're not in there, you're missing out. You're totally missing out. And if, another... you're new, if you're new to the Discord, there's so much to explore. I mean, just go in there and, and you could spend it. I know that's exactly why Jay doesn't want to go in there because it's like it's a uh, a rabbit hole. But, uh, yeah, you know, there's all the different pages. If, if you're a Van Halen fan, if you're just a guitar fan, you know, any brand, it, there's all a page for every brand and uh, mm -hmm. Selfies? every topic. We have a selfie section where we're – where you guys can post, you know, selfies and stuff. We got, we got so many different things in there, mm -hmm. um, and we can actually, we can. Where am I? We can actually take. Uh, we can actually have like a special room where, if if you are a part of the Discord, I actually, I actually, uh, we can actually talk to you that way as well. Mm -hmm. A special is, room. There's a oh, special, like a chat, a special. Chat, special. An actual special. Special. An actual voice chat. <laughs> there. I, I'm, there oh we go. Lord. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to jump into where it says live. Oh, Lord. All right. I'm in. If, if anybody jumps into the Discord, jump into the the uh, voice channel, the live voice channel underneath the Johnny Bean Discord, and you can talk to us right now. Uh, li lines are open. Lines are actually open. If anybody just in, like John BL. Mute your mic and jump into there and talk to us, and, okay. and, and we'll, we'll show you what it's like. Well, Mike as himself, right. I, I do have a Les Paul, and Renus Pinkle, I do not have any Flying Vs. You have any uh, SGs? I do, actually. Right now, I do. You have any Would, you like to see it? Would you like to see it? Are you going to stand up? I am going to stand up, but I'm going to do this, though. John. Oh, oh, my, my volume's down. I'm sorry. There we go. This is going to get way too confusing because I can't listen to two things at once with the delay and not hear through one device. And hold it closer, <laughs> closer. I no, can't hear you through the through my phone though. Hold it close to your mouth. Can you hear me? No, yeah, that's worse. Hey. There you yeah, go. go like this. Go like I this. I hear it. I can hear it coming through. So you guys, that audio you're hearing, that's John Beale coming through the Discord. That's me. This that's guy. him coming through the Discord right now. I see you. I see you in there. Do you can hear me? This all the time. And do I the same do I sound good? Do I sound No, I okay? can't hear you on my phone. I can hear you through the headphones. Oh man. Through the uh Streamlabs. Streamlabs. Oh, so you're not pumping. You're not pumping into the Discord. You're only pumping through here. You mean Stinkyard? Yes. Stinkyard. Sorry. Actually, you know what? I'm cursing. No, I'm joking. I'm not cursing. <laughs> what happens, what happens what if, happens if I turn my mic, mic on? 
Blah, 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 blah. It's a All lot right, of fun. Right. Uh, now was John just leaving. Oh, so I'll leave it Why open. Saying goodbye. I'll leave. I'll leave it plugged in. I'll leave it plugged in. So if anybody, if you jump in the Discord, jump into the live voice chat, and you can talk to us. And enough with those thumbs downs, you guys. Not funny. All right. <laughs> now, what is that? This is a 1962 oh, SJ. Man, haven't seen that yet. What, what's that doing? <laughs> it's a 19 or an original 1962 uh, SG Junior. Oh, Steinberger uh, edition. Why is the coolest guitar in your collection? How can you never seen that? You're holding it's, not on my, it's not in my collection. It's not my guitar. It's, it belongs to a customer. Okay. I'm actually repairing it. Oh. That's got one of those in, non intonating bridges, right? Uh, this one, yeah, but it's the original one, so and it does kind of intonate it's because kind of, each corner, each corner has a little Allen key that you can kind of like mm. do that with. But yeah, so you really got to get a stick to one string gauge on those things, right? Not really. No, no. If There's, you change string gauges, the intonation wouldn't it go? I would think it would go out. But I guess. I mean, it, it's. It is what it is. It just yeah. it's no guitar really intonates perfectly anyway. None of them do. But uh -huh. this guitar is about five pounds. It is so light and it is so clean. It is ridiculous. It's crazy. And I'm doing a setup for a customer of mine. Um, these are the original tuning pegs, and uh, they're just about to start to crumble because they're from '62. So I got direct replacements coming from Stu Mac to put on here, and we'll put these in the case, and you know, just for safekeeping, and we'll put the new ones on so you can actually use the guitar. Mm -hmm. How much would that guitar be worth? I don't know. It's probably about uh, four thousand dollars, five thousand dollars, maybe. It's you know, you got to remember that this is this is a student model guitar back in the, back in the sixties. This was a student model guitar. It was about eighty dollars. Is this still branded Les Paul? No, no. What's it's, this? The the only the uh, the branded. standard only the standard was branded Les Paul. Not well, it not says the Les Paul on the headstock, doesn't it? No, it doesn't. Oh, it does. Oh, yeah, it does. It does. <laughs> You're right. Yeah, but on the, uh, but but over here, it right. would say it would have said Les Paul as well. But uh, yeah, look at that. It says Les Paul. Les Paul Junior. Actually, it says. And what pickup would be in that? I don't know that's if I. A, I don't know if he said that. It's a P ninety. Okay. So it's a it's a beefy single coil. But yeah, this is great. How's it feel? It feels. It's got great. a baseball back net. No. no. Fairly thin. Mine does. Mine's got. It's pretty much a baseball back. Well, what year's yours? Oh, it's a. 2005, I think. This is 1962. Oh, yeah, I, I know. There's a huge difference. But. <laughs> it's got a wow type thing to it. Great for the bank. Wow, that's a cool guitar. Yeah, I wish I, I wish this was in my collection. But it's a good customer of mine. He's already given me he's given me three guitars to to fix in the last three weeks. What year did you say that was? Sixty two. Two. Wow. Yeah. So that was when they were still calling them Les Pauls. For how long did they call the SG a Les Paul? I think it stopped in sixty two. I think yeah. in sixty three they started just calling them SG. And uh, yeah, uh, just to go back in time into the to the early '80s and the '70s when you could have gotten those for a hundred bucks, you know, it's oh. Here's my SG. What a great guitar! Yeah, cool. I've always the SG was my first favorite kind of guitar. Like I was, I guess Angus Young really was one of my first like favorite uh, guitar players. Anyway, mm -hmm. after after Ed, I mean Ed Ed came first, but uh, you know. 
I think Angus and, and ACDC was like my second really kind of schooling on rock. Mm -hmm. uh, Soda asks how the frets on this thing are. They're factory, large frets, factory jumbos. Um, there's, there's, I mean, there, there's still plenty of life on them, but I mean, you got to, you got to think this guitar is from 1962. So it's got some wear, but it's still plenty of fret that, for you to play on. That is an amazing condition for 62. I mean, my God, yeah. for what is it? Almost, uh, you know, 60 years old. Yeah. That's yeah. amazing. Give us another close up. One more of the body. So cool. I'm trying to get in the, in the can light. You see the wood grain and you can see the wood grain. Is sure it one can. piece? Is it one piece? Oh yeah. Looks yes. like it. Yeah, these were all one piece. Yeah. I guess mine's yeah, mine's one piece. Well, no, mine's a mine's split, it looks like. I can't really tell, but yeah, this is one piece of mahogany. Somewhat book matched or something like that. Yeah, this is what year's yours, John? Two thousand five, I think. It's got the it's got a neck repair. And Dave's doesn't even have a neck repair. And no, my look at this. Look at how clean that is. Yeah. I don't know. It, mine, it's got a, it's got an excellent repair, but uh, how did it break? I didn't. I, I bought it. Unbeen, I bought it on eBay, unbeknownst to me. You know, they didn't, they didn't disclose that it had a had a repair, but uh, I got a good deal on it. So, and it plays great, and I, I, you know, I like it. So, I'm not going to complain. You know, you know, buyer beware on eBay. <laughs> You never know what you're going to get. Yeah, no complaining. Angus, yeah. Unless you're me, then then everything you buy is, uh, <laughs> then you complain. And this is, this is that sound. <laughs> oh, too close, too close. Uh, but can you do that with a solo? Can I mean? Can they do that? I mean, sure. If it picks, if it if it recognizes it, yeah. Yeah, I was just watching a, 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 a kind of a, another group that does sort of what we do, and they were talking about some of the YouTube uh, copyright claims and how, mm -hmm. how they're boxed. We're, 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 were we better? Are we better looking on them though? That's the real question. Not really. Not really. Do we drink more than them? <laughs> no, uh, no, no. We're on par with them. Yeah, we don't drink any, any of any of those those late night. Uh, you know, Let's drink on the Saturday night shows. You know, <laughs> just a couple couple brews here. And Is there, there any? Oh, any of them have a bigger beard than me? Any of them? Bigger beard than you? Uh, yeah. Or a bigger guitar strap? I don't, I don't remember. <laughs> no, do, do any of you guys follow Corridor Crew? Corridor Crew? Hmm. Corridor Digital. It's a uh, they're kind of like an effects. Uh, uh, you know, they do uh, effects for movies and stuff like that. And they'll do. Uh, I'm sure you've probably seen uh, visual effects artists react. Uh, so they kind of react to good and bad uh, visual effects, which is it's funny to watch. You know, reaction something, videos. Yeah, well, something like you know they watch the Matrix or I mean just clips from it or mm -hmm. from a really bad what, early. and and they were talking about you getting picked up on youtube for music or for their clips uh no just talking about in general how how youtube detects that that kind because of thing. yeah and any any channel that does reactions and then has a little a little you know window of the clip mm -hmm. yeah they're they're yeah they're getting flagged right regardless even if it's just audio well, you know, you, uh, that Veep uh, clip that I put up, there, there's a certain part. I don't know if it's the one that I put up or another one I was watching. There's a certain part where they do a montage, and it's completely silent. So you and you can see they're kind of like dancing to some some song. So I, I oh, I'm the, the song you, was muted. The song was muted. muted. Yeah, yeah. So for I, the first few seconds, I'm like, "What's going on?" But then I could figured it out. Yeah. Yeah, actually, if if that's, I've I've never done that to a video. Not yet. I think that that might be a newer thing. But if if you can just mute the part instead of getting getting flagged, I don't know. I well, mean, you'd I'm, have to go through it. I mean, are you going to do that? No, or? no. They tell you. They 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 they'll tell you right away. This is uh -huh. the, they, they find it. That's that's you know when a video gets flagged. If it gets flagged for a song or a clip, 
you get the email and it shows you exactly where that part is. And it's not somebody sitting there behind a computer watching our show right now going, Oh, Dave just played uh so and so. Jay just, you just played, said uh, back in black. Oh, okay. Puppets, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna flag this one. It wasn't back in black though. <laughs> Whatever the hell it was. I don't know what it was. I know what rock it, and roll all day. I knew what it was, but I don't know what song. No, it was it was uh you shook me all night. Oh, now the guy watching is gonna know what song it's from. Oh you're helping him out. But at least it's a viewer. <laughs> give me the, yeah, <laughs> give me give me the Molly uh, version, Dave, of uh, "Shoot Me All Night Long." The what? The Molly version. The Molly version, it, all in all caps. Oh, I don't know. How do you how did you play that? Well, you 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 make it up. <laughs> you, mess, you mess it up. All right, all right, sure. No, that's jazz. Play real chords, but just don't play. Wait the right. a minute. Yeah, it's no, gotta I... be it's gotta be real chords, but like 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 half a step off. I don't know. I can't do it. <laughs> I you can't mess up. It's like it's like Steve Vai when he's um battling uh the karate kid. It's like I was showing Gene. I'm like, look at Steve Vai. He he can't even mess up right. Yeah, you know? yeah, that's exactly it. <laughs> but that was both him though. If you watch, if you watch that, he admitted that was both him. He plays the guitar for both those parts. Yep. No, but I'm saying when he when he's trying to mess up that last run, uh, Al Cooper mm -hmm. did, did a lot for uh, Al Cooper did the uh, Machio stuff, some of the Machio stuff, some of it. I could the, be wrong, but I think uh, Al Cooper got some credit on that mm -hmm. for the guitar. Rob stuff. Machio? You mean Ry Cooter? Ry Cooter. Oh, I... All right, but there's also an Al Cooper, right? Like there is Alice, an Al Cooper, but there's, there's Alice Cooper. There's an Al Cooper. Ry Cooter, then Ry that's Cooter. not Ry Cooter though. Ry no, Cooter. Ry, Steve said that he played both parts to, uh, on that on that battle, but the slide part. part was Ry Cooter. Okay. The Ry slide Cooter. part. The slide part in yes. Rhymes with Al right. Cooper. Yeah. Yeah. Ry Cooter is known for slide. He used to the, the store I used to work at in Berkeley. Ry Cooter used to come in, and I, I used to see him. He'd he'd be checking out guitars and stuff. Mm -hmm. And um, I didn't know this at the time. It probably would have been more exciting to me at the time if I would have known this. Um, but he, he was a big, uh, a big Ripley player. He played Ripley's, right, Cooter? Cool. You know? <laughs> um, yeah. Did he record with them a lot? Uh, can you, is it on his recordings? Uh, I d maybe. It's pretty recognizable, maybe. I would say, the Ripley, you know. Might be. Panning. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I don't know what that symbol is. It's like a guy. It almost looks. It looks like a, to me. It looks like a mouth. 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 You mouth. know this. It looks wow. like somebody opening their mouth, and there's their tongue and or their like an eyeball. Yeah. <laughs> well. Well, when when uh, when Mark um, asked my question to Steve Johnny that you thankfully. <laughs> Oh, Should I take this call? Hey. It's Dave, though. Sped <laughs> up. Uh huh? <laughs> well, hello, you're on the air. I sent the caller's voicemail. Goodbye. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. What? That doesn't make sense. That was Nesdal calling me. Maybe he uh, lost a connection or something. Yeah, could be. Why would he go to? Oh, 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 he's smiling. He's smiling though. So I think it was. A, I think it was a joke. Why did it go to voicemail? <laughs> I don't know. It, it, it went to voicemail. I was gonna say, uh, why, Mister Nesdal, no play the Luke. <laughs> That's you doing that? No, it wasn't me. It was gonna be me tonight, but it was. You know, somebody called last night actually. You want me to play the one from last night? Somebody, while we were on the air last night with Ronnie, somebody called and left one of those messages, but sure. I, it was somebody else. Why is not Mr. Nesto not play Luke? Did you leave a voicemail though? I tried, but it just, it cut me off. 516. Don't, what are you crazy? <laughs> well, no, I'm just, I'm just saying that's what I'm looking at. 516-321922. Oh, John. Oh. oh, sorry, Dave. Man, that, that was right. I got it right. <laughs> that was a couple of those numbers were right. <laughs> <laughs> 
So you didn't, you didn't leave a voicemail? No, because it wouldn't let me. It it just it like ended it. Okay, well, some I'll play the thing from last night if I can find it. And hey, you guys, jump into the Discord, somebody, and talk to us in the Discord. Mr. Bean, uh, you tell Mr. Nesdo why not play Luke? You sound a little more like uh, Chinese. I think that the, the, well, the, the, anyway. the, the caller is like Indian, I think, right? Oh, yeah. Well, or going for an Indian voice. You know, you start, you start talking like an Indian, you get called, you know, a racist. Right. Apu. Yeah. That's what happened with Apu. I think they, they, they were trying to get rid of him for a while. Did What's going on with The Simpsons? I, I haven't watched that show. I haven't watched this new episode in years. at least 10 years. You know, I, sometimes somebody, you can catch the new, uh, I mean, sometimes you can catch the old episodes on uh, FXX, I think it is. Uh, and they play like just about every night they have a, you know, like a three or four hours of the Simpsons, but usually these days it's like the two thousands and the, and the more recent ones. First, uh, uh, first nine seasons were the best. Okay. Here, here's a voicemail from last night and I, I don't know who this is. Hey, hello, Ronnie. Anyone that got to rub elbows with the Ramones and the, is uh, totally cool. Plus, plus, you must have hung out at CBGB's. It's been a pleasure to listen to your interview. That sounds like uh, yeah, Showman sounds, Blues. Sounds, that's exactly. Yeah. Sounds like Showman. I don't know, Showman. Was that you? Anyway, whoever that was, thank thank you for leaving that. Oh crap! <laughs> Oops. Thumbs hey. too big. So the dog puss says either you're being insensitive or insulting a viewer. Are you telling me that that's what I'm doing? No, no. He's talking about this, the whole thing with the Simpsons and just comedy in general now. Like you oh, can't, okay. you can't make fun of anybody without it being, you know, without somebody politically and, and wanting you to lose your job. Oh, okay. Cause I, I don't mean to insult anybody. So no, well, the, mm -hmm. the whole PC thing is ruined, is ruined. Yeah, it's comedy. Cause I don't like you. Mm-hmm. Well, Johnny, what do you, you're a Simpsons fan? What do you what do you think? How how should they how should they proceed or or end it gracefully? Well, I mean, I mean, they could technically, I mean, they could go on until you know one of the main cast dies. I guess 30. they've been on for what thirty two years, um, eighty nine. So it's thirty years this year. Thirty years, but oh, it, oh, with eighty seven would have including been. the 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 Omen stuff. Omen. That's yeah. a, a 30, 30 to have a show, a 30, 30. cartoon in 30 years. That's pretty amazing. And like <laughs> the one that keeps going. I mean, not, not one in syndication. Although yeah. the last 20 years has just been kind of like, you know, there was a good 10. There, there was a good five years. There, there was a, there was a good 10. Time. I think the first ten, nine or 10 years were great. Crowbar. That's, this is you. Is this you sick as hell and watching the show from bed? Oh, you're sick. Oh. You're sick. Oh, feel better, man. Feel better, man. Feel better, man. <laughs> That's Betterman. his name, Phil Betterman. Phil Betterman. Betterman. What is that from? Betterman. That was That's Phil, Phil Betterman. <laughs> That's, That's, the... That's who Krellbar is. <laughs> Krellbar, get 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 well soon, man. Sick as hell. I thought you you said the, I thought you were saying the show was sick as hell. Like, thank you so much, but. Well, sick could be. Like, That's sick, man. That's big stuff. That's sick. And then I think Dave said hello. Is this you? Me? Did you did you say hello? No, I didn't. This this isn't you right here. Hello. No. <laughs> oh, maybe it was me. Yeah. Yeah. It sounds like that was a no. Well, maybe it was. No, that no that that can't be you because that, oh. that's that's a that's a Bay Area number. Oh, it's not me. Hello. <laughs> 1047. Somebody from the Bay Area just left us a message. Hello. Saying hello. Hello. Wait, hang on. Hello. That sounds like you, though. I know it does. Yeah. <laughs> Dwight Bailey says, hope you feel better, Krellbar. That's right. Hello. Anyone, anyone down in the Florida area or someone's uh, talking about the hurricane? That's uh, looking like it's going to be pretty rough. Hey, I might get smashed with that thing. Are you shitting me? Oh, yeah. The whole East Coast. I mean, we'll get some of it too. You know. Hello. It's looking pretty. 
<laughs> Just record that, Johnny. Yeah. Johnny. Johnny. John Biel, you got to sample that. Yeah. Hello. That, that's going to be my... my uh, I'm going to make this my... When you call me and it goes to voicemail, that's what it's going to say. Leave a hello. nice message. Hello. It's a very friendly hello. I'll give him that. Wait a minute. Somebody's calling? Jeez. Oh. What is that about? Did you do that, Jay? I didn't do anything. Hello? Oh, here we go. Hello? 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 Is this the Johnny Bean Show? No, it's not. Hello? <laughs> that is you. Hello? Call the number back. Hello? Wait, hello? So, hello? What is going on? Wait. Hello? Is this a loop? Is Johnny hello? Just... Wait. Hello? 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 Hello. Hello. Hi, you're on. Hello. I, you're on the air. Hola. Hello. 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 Hola. Hello. That's crazy. Man. Hello. Okay. That's, that does sound like you. I'm using my Van Halen coaster. Oh. Hello. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Who's, who's this? Here we go. Hello. I am calling to find out for Mr. Nesdal. Is that a buddy guy signature right behind you? Please let me know. Hope you have a good night. Goodbye. That's a good question. Thank you for calling in. That's Rena's hey, Pinkle. Oh, Dave, have you gotten that question before? <laughs> Several times. Rena's Pinkle says it every time. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Oh God! <laughs> Wait a minute, though. Is it Renus? Uh, I think it's Johnny Bean having Siri say it, but in a male voice. Huh? No, no, no. Wait a minute. <laughs> I. Ooh, hello for um, boys of summer yeah you didn't hear me just do that no i just heard the first okay. note now did did uh ronnie say that she wrote uh that uh the uh, melon camp song no yeah. no she was saying that that um kenny arnold uh, kenny kenny arnold played oh, drums on kenny's story yeah okay and the uh the drum solo in that sounds like the guitar for that boys of summer too just the first note alone, I, I mm. instantly that it's that song, you know. Mm -hmm. I've always hated that song. Really? Uh. It's one of those songs that makes me feel a certain like it, it snaps me into a different. Feel, you know what I mean? It makes me, this, like, theory, theory it makes me think of 1985. Is what it does. What year know. did uh, Jack and Diane come out? 84. 84. I just I think of that song and I, I think of the video and he's playing the kids playing the snare and the snare drums all like it's not tightened at all. It's all like wavy. So he's playing like a snare that's obviously not, you know. Like a, well, I just remember paper. being being seven years old and when that video came out. When, the drum, when that little drum fill part kicked in, I mean my seven year old brain was like, oh my God, this is like the coolest thing ever. You know, mm -hmm. so whatever, whatever Henry, idea yeah. that was to put that drum solo or drum, you know. Oh, oh the the Jack and Dom. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So for those of you who want to know, what this, for those of you who want to know what this buddy guy strat looks like, it's not a buddy guy strat. Hello. But I have I have a picture of it right here. That's it right there. Uh -huh. Oh, you did, you did a new photo session today. Yes. Oh, there you go. 
that's the guitar. Do you have a comparison? Let, can we Body see Guy it? Strat looks like a Fender with a pick guard and three single coils and no Floyd Rose. That is not a Buddy Guy Strat, though. So there you go. Is it a San Dimas? Is it a... Uh, uh, it's a... a it's a, stock, it's, a uh, it's a replica of a San Dimas from, like, 79. How come we never see you playing that guitar, though? I play it. I played it the other day, actually. You don't, We've you never don't seen you play that. Uh, you, yeah, have, you probably yeah. have never seen me play most of my guitars. You don't play your, your, your guitars that uh that we don't see you playing on the show? Yeah. You don't play them? No, I don't play them at all. They're just there as like wallpaper. <laughs> Ornaments. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I hang them on my tree at Christmas time. <laughs> Mm. Uh, <laughs> oh man see you later dan halen dan halen see you later man johnny are you playing any uh any synth synth stuff lately doing any tracking any uh electronic uh moog synth sort of stuff i know a couple months ago you were you had been talking about that doing some synth stuff uh um hello <laughs> or have you learned any more about some of that electronic uh, music <laughs> hello or researched any yeah yeah <laughs> yep yep yeah yep um yep <laughs> would you care to comment on any of that that uh, anything that you've uh, has inspired you or I know it's, a guitar. it's, it's kind of a guitar show. Oh, Here we go again. Hey, phone call. Hello? Hello? Call from. Hello? To accept, oh press 1. To send a voicemail, press 2. Hi, you're on the air. Hello? Hello? What is up? I would like to talk to Mr. Nesdon. Uh-huh. He's here. Okay. Hello, Mr. Nesdon. Hello? I can't. I can't boost this volume. Hello. Hello? Oh, he hung up. You're on with Mr. Nesdal. <laughs> you know what, Johnny? It looks like you're trying to work like a NASA space shuttle. The way you're like over here, like oh, he hung up. Oh, no, I, I just I I think that he's actually pro programming that into his phone to to do that. He's programming mm -hmm. it to something. No. Huh? No, that was somebody. That was somebody that actually called. No, I'm. I've got. I've got my MacBook. Uh -huh. you, can, you can't see it, right? John is really in the other room making making these phone calls. <laughs> yeah. You're not watching the live Johnny Bean. Yeah, this is a recording. The the one you're seeing on the screen. Uh, yeah, it's great. Soda. No, I don't have a John Sir at the moment. And uh, the one I was um, setting up for my customer last week, I sent back to him. He taught Howie how to. Answer, uh, call it, make a phone call like that. Mm -hmm. It's Howie and Ned and a chicken <laughs> on a payphone down the street. <laughs> Howie, Ned, and the chicken. <laughs> That's a great setup. That's Walking a great setup up. for a joke. <laughs> Somebody finish that. <laughs> That'd be awesome. Oh, dog paw. Okay. Howie, the dog, Ned, and the chicken. The dog paw sent me a picture. Can you can you resend it? Because I get so many emails. So, um, so popular. There's no way I'm going to find it unless you tell me exactly when you sent it. If you can tell me like like the time you sent it, I can track it down. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> and what else? I don't know. Thumbs up. I'm just digging this SG. I'm gonna ask my customer if I can buy it from him. Have you ever owned an SG? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, I have. A couple of custom shops. Every time I own an SG, I I, I sell it. <laughs> <laughs> they, <laughs> they go. Whoop. Yeah, every time you get when you break the headstock. No, I don't break the headstock. No, but you put it on you, and, and most of the time they go. You look at the 
and the headstock break. Does your customer know though that that that's getting a headstock rep repair as well? What? I didn't hit it. It's not. It's shut up. <laughs> shut up. <laughs> Little did I know I bought this from Dave, and it had a headstock repair. <laughs> You can barely see it, really. but you can see where it obviously smacked into something. Oh, yeah. Put it closer. Oh, my God. You can't, you can't feel from behind. You can't feel where the... Uh, really? I put, a, I put a little mark because there's a crack. I mean, where as far as the crack goes, like... What, you want to know where it is? I like, want to know. I want to know if it cracks anymore. See, that little straight mark or left, uh, whatever you would call it, like a ninety degree mark, is my mark, just to see if it cracks anymore. I don't want it to crack anymore, so I put a mark on it. <laughs> so now it looks like a crack. Well, it is a crack. That's a whole. You can see the crack clearly now. I mean, so let me ask you a question. At the bottom what? of it, at the bottom of it, I just put a little notch. So if it goes any further, I know. Oh, I, I thought I thought that huge line was you putting a mark. No, on no, no, no. Well, just, why don't you? If it, if I want to be aware if it cracks any further, but well, why don't you just get it repaired? Years. It is repaired, it's completely repaired, but I just want to make sure it's not going to go any further. I don't think it'll go anywhere. It's yeah, that's really repaired. That's, I mean, it's a great repair. That, that's a tramp stamp. Another call. Don't worry, it'll get disconnected. See, <laughs> getting different ringtones. Hello, hi, hello. Hey, Johnny. Yes. What's up, man? Are you guys still live yet? Oh, yeah, you're on the <laughs> air. Who is this? That's me, Vintage Sounds. Vintage Sounds, what's up, man? Vintage Sounds, what's up, What's dude? going on? Hey, man, I'm calling to see the talk. Like, all these guys have all these stuff, like, all these great guitars and all that stuff, man. I'm just uh -huh. like, oh, man. That's just, that's awesome, man, to just, like, watch your show all the time like with dave and jay mm -hmm. and you're, you're, not, you're, you're and, on the air right yeah yeah JBL. okay oh. you're actually on yeah, all okay oh cool man that's so great Talk guys are awesome, man. can you I hear us watching it with dave so. with his beautiful sg there he has with that uh beautiful pickup in there Mm-hmm. Thank you. Yeah, I How's love Hall this thing. Hall I wish I owned it. Hey, how is Howie doing, Johnny? Is he? He's good. He's he's doing great. I know you take him for the walk and everything, and you've been doing pretty good yourself there, walking up and down the hill. I remember <laughs> like the last time. <laughs> yeah. How long is that? Yeah. When was the last time you went for? What a is walk? uh? What's up? Did, what's it's up with the rum rummeister? Where's he at? Um, I think I think he 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 does a jam on Saturday nights, but oh yeah, he's sometimes when, he's sometimes when he gets home though he'll jump in the chat and he'll actually jump on with us. So yeah, Steve, you out there? It's it's it, technically it's still kind of early here, so he, he might he might jump in at some point. But but yeah, he's good. He's around. Okay, here's the here's the biggest question because everybody up here always asks me the same thing. They say. What is better, like you guys have In and Out Burger or Five Guys? Which one? Oh man, been to either. Burger wise, In and Out. Uh, I, I would say In and Out all around is better. I'm, but it's different though. They're they're really not. You, re you you really can't compare them. Um. But if 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 anybody if you've anybody's been to In and Out, you know that's that's the stuff. Here's yeah. how I know In and Out is better. Yeah, yeah. You guys are only on the. I'm on the East Coast, so it's like you're on the West Coast, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we don't have. Like you get all that different uh, burger stuff, you know, like up here. Do we know who we're that's, talking? That's it. What we got, you know, like the Five Guys oh. and Red Robins and stuff like that, like compared to. Five Five I'm Guys sure. is good. I like I, I like the Five Guys burgers. Yet you can't compare those to In and Out. They're really not the same. Um, but as far as French fries, In and Out fries are way better. I think. 
Hey, what do you think that with with Caleb with his band, man? Is that and he is funny as hell, man? I'll tell you. Like I, I was mm-hmm. watching some of the the videos with him over there, mm-hmm. and uh, were you guys watching the live stream last night with uh, what you call it, Johnny B? What was that that one girl's name that was on there? That Ronnie Lee was that with you? Yeah, was that, that was us. <laughs> Um, I don't know if I saw that one. Who? who? No, no, Ronnie no. Lee, the girl, the guitar player with, that used to play with Joan Jett and everything. It was, she was Dave on was night? on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was watching that last night. Oh, I'm gonna have to watch that one, <laughs> Johnny. Wasn't I thought you were the guy that was watching that or whatever, weren't you? He was watching. I was. It with us. I, was I was watching it. I was watching it. Yeah, she's awesome. She's very cool. <laughs> Ricky, Ricky Lake. What do you, are you guys getting anybody on there? Did you get David Lee Roth on there? That's that's who you got to get on there, man. Because did you see his like the David Lee Roth show? No, I haven't. Ron, been Ronnie says she's close with him. So. I haven't oh been watching God. those, but I know for a fact that even I I, I know uh, I know somebody that's actually related to him, and she can't get in touch with him herself. They, so oh my God, yeah, yeah, yeah. he's like. He's he's a, he's a tough one. He is. He's out of he's out of touch with everybody. But he is so. <laughs> oh my god. He, he's off the. Oh, he's yeah. off he the chain. Like he's a, uh-huh. he, you know what he's what his bike now. He's like riding bicycles and stuff. But oh, I just watched his last show. With, he was showing you like uh, what how not to use a gun. You know what I mean? <laughs> he, he was pretty cool. You know. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't watch that. I'll, I'll have to watch that though. I forget what the episode number is, but I, I, you could, you still I, making those the Roth show. I think. I, have, uh, I, I, I think in, in the uh, in the the thumbnail, it's him doing this anyway. So I. I think, uh, what the? Another call. Are you still there? Yeah, I'm here, Johnny. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I've got another call coming through. Okay, go ahead, man. I'm, I'm going to watch it back. Okay, great talk to you, man. Can you merge them? You. All right. Yeah, man. Nice right. talking with you, Johnny. All right. Good okay. night, man. Peace. Can you merge them? No. <laughs> Jay. <Hello? laughs> oh, that's funny. Hello? Hello, hello? Hello. Hello. I don't I'm know what happened. If you, like... If you're on the phone with somebody and you accept it and then you hit the merge button and it brings everybody into one call and you don't say anything and let them go back and forth. Can you hear me, Johnny? Johnny's not here. Well, that could that could actually happen though on uh in the Discord. If any of you guys are in the Discord, jump into the live jump into the live uh uh voice channel in the Discord and you guys can talk to us there. Yeah, that phone call. I don't know what I answered it. I don't know what happened. It, it vanished. <laughs> wow, there's actually people watching this. Like, <laughs> yeah, the David Lee Roth stuff is cool. Whenever, he, whenever he can, you know, get a great, you know, the last interview with uh, what was his name, the comedian there. That was a great interview. Yeah, a lot of the interviews with Dave, he just rambles. But uh, if he if he has a good host, he'll uh, you'll get a great interview out of him. That's the whole thing, you know. He's got to, you guys got to, they have to be on the same page, you know, and speak the same language for the most part. Mark Maron, that's who it was. Oh, Mark Maron, yeah. yeah. Um. Oh, we got we got, they they left a message. Oh yeah. I'll play that, and then I I gotta use the the, uh, the room. Baba Booey. Baba Booey. Uh, hello. This call is because you guys have too many guitars. There's too many people out there that you can hand these guitars out to schools. There's lots of kids that who need music to live. You guys are like Spinal Tap. I think I heard me in the background of their call. <laughs> yeah. So, 
Oh, Johnny's gone. All right, then. Johnny Ghani. Jay, I know uh, Dave doesn't want to hear this, but did you get a chance to yeah, watch? Yeah, I'll bring it back. That Metallica Road video? I, I did not yet. I will, though. I definitely will. That's cool. Um, Fruitcake Tony says uh, 7 over 8. Baby safe. You got a Category 3 hurricane pouncing on you in a couple of days. It can't happen. It can't happen because two things. Um, Gears of War 5 comes out, I think, September 6th or September 5th. Video game? Yeah. Gears of War. Yep. So I got to play with my buddies. And then the Bears opening day or opening night kickoff of the NFL season is on Thursday night. First loss to the season? Well, the Hurricanes, only, it's uh, its going to, what, make landfall in the next 48 hours, and then it'll probably, what, are you North Carolina? It'll probably be there on, yeah, what, Wednesday, Thursday? Probably come up here in another week. Well, you'll, you'll probably just get some rain, but, you know, it all depends. I mean, it's... Yeah, you might get a, yeah, actually, you might get a full, full-fledged hurricane out of it. Yeah. Weather right now. See if there's any. Uh... But it's. I mean, the last I had heard, it's it's gonna pound the uh, the east coast of Florida. I mean, with like a Category Four, I guess it's gonna hit, and that's that's a. Uh, you know, I don't know. It's like sustained winds of 150 miles an hour or something, which is crazy. Yeah, it's not fun. Yeah, <laughs> not at all. But that's the risk you run, you know, living in that area. Mm-hmm. It's like Tornado Alley. Heck, we had a tornado out on uh, the Cape Cod a couple of weeks ago. Uh, that's, I mean, that's like the first time they've ever had a tornado out there. But in the last few years, we Massachusetts has had, you know, a couple tornadoes a year, which is just insane. I guess it's global warming or something. <laughs> you know? I get to see a minute-long video about the hurricane, and I'm getting a 30-second ad before I have to watch it. Right? This is like public service safety stuff. No, but not even that. I could see if I was watching like a 10-minute video clip or five-minute video clip. But I'm watching a, a minute-long clip, and they're going to give me a 30-second ad? Yeah, that's crazy. Oh. <laughs> oh, wow. Hello? Oh. Hello? Oh, man. This guy just won't, won't, won't quit. So that, I don't know when this was updated, but... That doesn't look good. I'm not going to be playing any Gears of War. That's a lot of red. A lot of red. So if this actually oh, happens... Wow. I... Oh, son of a butt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. If this actually is... Or, you know... I'll pull it back. Happens. That looks sore, man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You know, should I do something? About, should I see somebody about it? <laughs> <laughs> should I see a doctor about that? So uh, obviously you got Florida. I mean, he's a band aid on that thing. No. And South Carolina. So they're talking category oh. two, hundred mile an hour winds. I'm I'm virtually right on the co on the uh, state line or the border of north and south carolina well where is it right now is it it's going to be getting close i mean it's uh and i'm i'm a couple minutes from the beach so you hello hello really you so like screwed Nizzle. and how shitty is it of, of it for me right now I'm, I'm i'm worried about playing a video game meanwhile people are going to be yeah. I don't even see it on the radar. It's like it's not even on. This is what I got. Oh, cool! It's it's gone. It disappeared. Awesome. I guess it's not coming. Rena, sorry to hear that, man. Hello. <laughs> yeah, I don't know where it's uh, where it's going. I can't see the hurricane unless it's off screen. <laughs> That's doll. Oh, there it is. Hello. Where's what? Come on. Play. Play what? Wow. There oh, it goes. Man. Look at that shit. But yeah, my house will be gone. You're all fucked. Yeah. 
that's a cool animation though. Right up Hello. the coast. You're not gonna, yeah, but it'll be it'll lose a lot of strength by the time it gets. Well, although still, it looks pretty strong. <laughs> Shit. Category two will still whoop that ass. Here's your weather forecast, your Saturday night weather forecast for the Florida Hello. Peninsula up the east coast. Everyone? Man, that's going fast too. Hello. See, once it got up to Florida, it was like going a bazillion miles an hour. Oh, it's so can I there we go. Well, Let's hope that uh, I see you guys uh, Friday. Jeez, we're going to get it, too, apparently. On Friday's show, let's hope I'm here. Let's hope all this stuff is here, too. Well, you know, the stuff, at least. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Jay Hannon's guitars. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this might be the last time you see me. <laughs> no, see be me? safe. Be safe, Jay. Make sure you, you abide by all uh, evacuations, etc. Yeah, why don't you come up here? Uh, and I'm sure it'll bring you up here. Yeah, just, saw, just, just ride point. the wave, baby. Ride yeah. the wave. <laughs> uh, kill myself. Ride the oh. snake. So when is that? This is week. That tomorrow? Is that tomorrow? Yeah. yeah. Tomorrow. Next couple days. Hello. It's supposed to hit landfall <laughs> in, days? in Florida on Monday, I guess. I think so. Monday. Caleb, Caleb is here. Caleb, <laughs> yeah. And I just saw that Caleb is taking a trip to New York in the next couple of weeks. He's coming the- here. Yeah, he's going to go uh, to the Met awesome. and come here. Awesome. Oh, for his birthday. I think I think we'll be doing our Tuesday night show with Caleb here at the house. He's go- he's going up this week. Is that what it is? No, I think I don't remember what the date. I think it's September twenty fourth. I think right, that's said. what I thought. Yeah. Hello. Wow. Hello. I don't know who this is. Wait a minute. Must be Caleb. Ooh. Have you guys ever been through a tornado or a hurricane? Or yes. a, I guess a natural disaster? Johnny, you lived out in the uh, Midwest, right? Uh, I, I did. I did. And 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 uh, uh, what do you call it? Tornado. Her- Tornadoes are and no, herpes, thank you. Herpes sucks. No, nothing to nothing to uh, sneeze at. Is that what they say? <laughs> well, it's, it's scary because you don't know they're coming. It's like all of a sudden, it's like, oh crap! It's a bad bad thunderstorm, and then your house is gone. Well, not even that. It's just. You know. But it's pretty I, crappy outside, though. Too. I lived in Illinois for uh, almost ten years, and you know, it's right there too. Tornado Alley. I don't know if it's Tornado Alley technically, but isn't Tornado Alley like um, uh, kind of Oklahoma and that kind of area? Yeah, nah, nah, nah. Texas uh, plains and or what are they the plains states? The flat the flat area, Kansas. We're not in Kansas anymore. Uh, that's what the, the 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 guys that kicked out of the band say the next day. <laughs> we're not in Kansas anymore. <laughs> now, we're in Kansas anymore. now we're in Boston. You know, they say, here's a bus ticket. <laughs> you got five days going cross country. <laughs> not in Kansas anymore. Well, there's always sticks and uh, <laughs> what's uh, Boston, Boston, uh, Chicago, Chicago, uh, yeah. Alabama. Alabama. Wait, right. okay. Wait, uh, this is a good question for the chat. We got some yeah. people in here. What are what are some of the good band names that are states? Bands that we know of. Uh, well, Chicago's not a state. Boston's not a state. Well, okay. Uh, city and state, state and even city. country country names. Country. Right. Oh yeah, there, there's Panama. Panama's a song name, but uh, well, you're answering. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what am I answering? Fucking BL. What are they <laughs> Don't talk about the bathtub and the toy and the toys toyster this time. Toaster. <laughs> toyster. Remember that? You said that, and I got flagged immediately when, when oh. you were that, man. I was just reading something from the chat. Jeez. I know. Wow. <laughs> you got flagged for that, really? Yeah. Oh, that's funny, man. That's crazy. Funny man. Um, is that a band, Dakota? No. <laughs> you guys, what are your favorite states? <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite uh, color? 
Right. Soda asks, uh, what's the heads on top of the head? So there's two That's heads back there. One is this is 6505, and then the one on top of it is the highly sought after Ibanez Tone Blaster. Yes. Hmm. That's very nice. Yep. Very nice. Hi. Hi. How are you? That's all. Caleb is in a uh, state of confusion. Yeah. <gasps> hey, do that again. Man, I remember when I, we lived in Illinois, um, when there'd be a <laughs> tornado warning or watch. There's a thumbnail. Which one's worse? <laughs> the warning or the watch? Warning, the warning means that they actually have seen a tornado. Yeah, warning, Will, Will Robinson. I remember one time in particular, I was probably about maybe seven or Hello. eight. Hello. <laughs> we looked out the front window, and the sky was like this, this weird green color, man. Oh, when it's green, you got to be careful. That's yeah. what you really that's, so, that's fucked up. Um, we had to hide underneath the stairs. Um, we had a closet in the basement that was underneath the staircase going upstairs. And I'm telling you something, that was scary as hell. You know, it didn't end up like hitting near us. But, you know, being in a dark closet, you know, this is before like cell phones or anything. Couldn't like look on your phone to make sure everything was okay to turn the radio on. Mm -hmm. But like, you know, you're hiding underneath a... A freaking in a closet underneath the staircase in your house. They say that they're so loud, like they, they do sound like a freight train. So I would guess you, I mean, not that I've, I've never been through one, but that uh, you would hear just the, the fact of like not, knowing, not knowing what's happening, yeah. you know? You know what? Who I feel bad for the most in a like a tornado situation are the animals that ca get caught up in it. Yeah. And people don't leave their animals. Twister. And people. Twister, that, that cow. Wasn't there a cow in Twister that got yeah. all twisted up? Yeah, twisted up. Yeah. And people leave their yeah, animals. Well, Eddie, Eddie Van Halen's playing along the whole thing. You know? There's people that do it all the time, dude. State of emergency. A Category 5 is coming. And people leave, and they leave their animals home. Oh, yeah. It's like, what are you doing? Oh, they'll be fine. What? There are people that shouldn't have have pets. Those are the kind of people, you know. If you're packing everything up, that's the the you know. Aside from your family members, that's the next thing you pack up. Well, Anything. sometimes even before your family members. Yeah. yeah at least. Yeah. People can. To well, because the pets can't do anything about it. I mean, they they're on their own. I mean, if you leave them, they're 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 done for. They you're just yeah whatever. Done for. <laughs> What's well, it's, it, it's the same thing with with the Fourth of July and firecrackers. You know, you got you got to take care of your pets because they, they can take off. Mm -hmm. You know, because of that. Um, I just saw my name. No, I'm not scared of lawn gnomes. I'm not. Not at all. Lawn gnomes, huh? Mm -hmm. Is that something we should be afraid of? Well, maybe. Hello. I know there's like night walkers and that kind of stuff. Yeah. Uh, maybe I shouldn't say that either. I don't know. Maybe that might get us flagged. Hello, <laughs> night night walkers. You ever Hello. heard of the night, night walkers or the uh, chupacabra? The who what? Chupacabra. That's your area, Dave. I don't know what that is. You've what? never heard of the chupacabra? No. Nope. I think it's a New Jersey. Oh no, the New Jersey is the New Jersey Devil. Are you talking about the Warriors? No, you guys, you guys didn't haven't read all the uh, like uh, strange creatures books. Mm -hmm. Well, I read them. No, everybody know. knows Bigfoot, but nobody. I just like the pictures. Knows, not everybody knows Chupacabra or or the the uh, the New Jersey Devil. I know Chewbacca. <laughs> I know the the hockey team, the New Jersey Devils. That's what it's named after, the New Jersey Devil. Come on, or Mothman. You guys have heard of Mothman, right? I've heard of Mothra. Mothra. Well, that was Godzilla. Mothra. I've heard of, I don't, you guys remember Condor Man? No. Did any of you guys see that movie? Condor I've, Man? I've seen Condom Man. <laughs> <laughs> seen Fart Man. Uh huh. There was a Disney movie from the late 70s, maybe early 80s called Condor Man. Wow. That was a movie I used to, I used to rent all the time when I was a baby. It sounds like, uh, wasn't there a cartoon with, with like a. Condor man, maybe I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, we, Phil Mosley's heard of what I'm talking. Phil Mosley. I was about to say, yeah, we got Phil Mosley now in the Discord. Ding. Thank you, man. And we got uh, Schlemer. 
Should I be reading that? What what's a Schlemer? It's a relative of the Lemur family. Okay, we got Schlemer in the Discord as well. Um Phil Mosley, you're awake? Jump into the dude, jump into Yeah, I know we're not even talking about guitars. Um <laughs> Mosley, jump into the, the voice. Well, actually I can drag you in there. Caleb. Here we go. It's a guitar show, bro. It's a guitar show. In fact, let's see what this has in my head. Phil Mosley, I'm gonna actually drag you into the Dave. That looks like a, it looks like a toy guitar. It looks like a kid's guitar. It certainly is not. Is that cheap? That thing looks pretty cheap. Was it one pickup? Yep. Damn. Yep. One pickup. Yep. Yeah. Student. It must be a student model, right? They didn't know what they had back then. That's great stuff. For them. A, there is a good page as a there's a good when I first got my SG, there's a there's a web page that has every model of the SG ever made, like the television SGs and the uh um you know the SG juniors to the you know SG one thousands and it's really cool to kind of see the history of them. The Les Paul SGs, the uh um you know, the rare like the twelve string SGs, not the not the twelve oh or the what are they called, the twelve 75s the the es the eds 1275 which is the double neck yeah and for a while they did just make it they made the 12 string SG. should i put my chair up <laughs> there we go 100 um, percent improved thank you let's, let's check out the sg uh archive Soda. Yeah, I think I think that's the future, man. Ugh. I've got a domain expiring in a week. I just, just heard. Um, yeah, Ned. Ned should definitely have his own channel. Man. Did you you guys didn't meet Ned? You guys didn't see him. No, we haven't seen Ned yet. I've got a new cat named Ned. He's in the garage. He won't come in here. I've got Do a you want to? I thought you were allergic to cats. I might be, but he's awesome and he loves me. Did you guys see this video? I, I posted. Loves me. Did you guys see this? I posted this today. I'll show you the video here. Actually, it's on Howie's uh, Facebook. Is that the one with the uh, the bird? Yeah. This was today. I filmed this. It's that's the seagull. I call it seagull having a picnic. Oh, that's not Ned. No. <laughs> Look at this. He takes the napkins out, sets them down. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's very funny, actually. <laughs> Get these out of here. That's very funny. Very bunny. Very bunny banani. Yeah, here's Ned. This is Ned. <laughs> that's oh, pretty man. funny. That's pretty damn funny. This is this is Ned right here. I, this is a video from last night. Oh, come on. <laughs> Ned oh, Ned oh, there he is. Oh, he's eating. Who's Ned? Here he is. This is Ned. Ned's dead, baby. That, that's him right there. No, no, no. Here's Ned. And there's me. <laughs> I've had him for I've had him for like three days, and he's like all over me. So Dude. friendly. There's something about new vans that cats love. <laughs> well, those are old vans, but well, maybe it's just vans in general. Because look, look at them. No, look at this guy. Yeah, you should start a new channel. Like uh, you got the Howie channel, get the Ned channel. Was it was he kind of a, res a rescue? Was he a stray cat or? Uh... Yeah, yeah, he's a feral cat that somebody found, wow. and and we we uh, they adopted him and then they gave him to us. Yeah, he's so really he's cool. he's in my garage right now, and eventually he's gonna be he's gonna be chasing down Templeton, which is the mouse, which yeah. is outside. Templeton. In the uh, what happened to Dave? Dave left. Um, in the uh, chicken coop, there's a mouse that hangs out over there. 
what was the quote from that movie the, that the spider made? Uh, fantastic. Or who read Charlotte's Web? <laughs> Come on. I don't know. Was Templeton, was that from that? Yeah, that's from. Okay. Charlotte. And the spider came up with these crazy messages that he that she kept writing. You know what I thought was a freaky movie? Watership Down. W- well, I can't watch that. that I, thought, I, oh. I was just going, I was taking a wild guess because I thought. No, that's- well, I, not that one. But yeah, I will say that one's just just oh, just freaky. super freaky. Uh, there's but there's another one. I remember there was uh, in 1982. Uh, Star Wars was back in theaters or back on the. Uh, yeah, in theaters. I went to see Star Wars in 82. And this was at a drive through And it was Star Wars. And I think, was it after Star Wars? Was The Secret of Nim. Oh, yeah, yeah. It was double the featured. Rats, the Rats of Nim. That was the other one. Yeah. Yeah. There were some crazy movies back then, man. Dark, like the Dark Crystal or... Um, Dark the, Crystal. What's the other or, one? Or, or even... even uh, what, what was the other one? I, I saw it in the theaters 20 years ago. Heavy Metal. Yeah. Heavy metal. That that's All crazy. And animated yeah. and just crazy animation, definitely. Yeah. Sammy, Sammy did a couple of songs on it, or the title track, right? Well, yeah, heavy metal, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's, that's Sammy, title yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Phantasm, yeah. Some of those eighties uh sort of like sci fi horror movies were awesome. Let's talk about that. Why not? Hello. Jay's a fan of that stuff. Hello. Fan of what? I'm sorry. Those 80s, uh, you know, slasher horror movies, sci-fi horror movies. I'm more of the, the main, you know, the typical Friday and, you know, Halloweens and mm-hmm. like that. Nightmare on Elm Street. Dream Honestly, that's that's about my extent of Dawkin. That's about as far as I, you know, that's my schooling on Dawkin right there. You know, Dream War is great, great song. Yep. I mean, it was probably their biggest hit, right? No, it was a hit. Was it even a hit? I don't think it was. I, a hit. I think people that weren't Dawkin fans, that's the song that they know. I mean, that was the first Dawkin song that I remember hearing. I think their biggest hit was in my dreams. Uh huh. So, you, so you dreamt up their biggest hit song? Yes, I did. I dreamt it up. <laughs> well, at, at that that era with uh, those, yeah, some of those horror movies and stuff, they <laughs> they definitely promoted some of that. Uh, some of those metal bands, you know, they got on those soundtracks. Um. Hello. Dawkin. Let's see. The most. Wow. The most rocking is with Dawkin. How many albums sold? The most, their most popular song on Spotify is Alone Again. Is that a ballad? Yes. Mm-hmm. Then Breaking the Chains. And then in my dreams, and then dream warriors, and then into the into the fire. Yeah, go Gremlins. Go. Gremlins, another one. When they the early those movies that had like the just the terrible kind of like animatronics and way before the CG stuff, where they were it was all hand you know animated puppets and uh, and claymation and that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. You know, I I can't believe I can't believe how small the actor was. They got into into the gizmo suit, man. Can you believe that? <laughs> Some of them, some of them were actors, weren't they? I mean, it's like uh, you know, Gizmo was an act. There was an actor in there, in Gizmo. Some of them must have been puppets, though, right? I mean, I don't even. Remember. I haven't seen that in twenty years. Twenty years? Oh my goodness! The thing I remember most is is the girl telling the story about her father dying in the in the chimney. Oh, you know, she 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 tells this whole sob story about how her dad dressed up as Santa Claus and got stuck in the chimney. <laughs> Leprechaun. Oh. Leprechaun was uh, uh, Warwick Davis, the uh, same, same. Uh, yeah, Wicket. Wicket. Yeah, he played. In, um, um, yeah, Jimmy Bider. Jimmy Bider. Is that one of those dolls that that 
that gets real mad. <laughs> I think that's like the, man. that's the mad yeah, part Chucky. of the of that doll. Yeah. What, what guitar is behind that? Is oh, what's after? What guitar is behind what? Behind that mad bear. It looks like a red something or other. I don't know. Let's see if you can guess. You guys have seen all my guitars. What is that? I think it's the angle. It's making it look. Hmm. Which one? Jimmy, what? Well, what? he's here. Jimmy, what uh, guitar is that? Are you talking to me or are you talking to No, me? he's talking about the Jimmy Bider uh, oh. behind that mad bear. <laughs> and there's a guitar back there. Yeah. What guitar is that, Jimmy Bider? Are you sneezing? I don't know. Like Satriani, maybe, or a... maybe a. Uh, no, I think it's a. I think it's a Schecter. I think it's some sort of Schecter Diamond series. <laughs> well, Jimmy's got the right idea. That's what I'm talking about. Killer clowns from outer space. The the reanimator. Those eighties. Uh, you know. What are beef, beef curtains? curtains? What are, I haven't what are seen beef curtains? I haven't seen that one, but what are, beef, what are beef what, curtains? Come on, what are beef curtains? It's, it's it's almost the same thing as sweater meat. What's or, sweater, uh, what's sweater meat? <laughs> or roast beef. <laughs> roast beef. <laughs> Wizard sleeve. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Beastmaster. Beef, yeah, oh, Beastmaster. Let's, let's, keep going. Keep going. What else you got? Radius. It's a radius. Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah, we're getting a lot in the chat now. Here we go. Is this on my end? Come on. Hi, hey, Armand. Hey, oh, there it is. Hi. To send the voicemail, press two. Hello. To accept, press one. To send a voice. Okay. I sent the caller's voicemail. Goodbye. Oh. See? No. No, I didn't mean to. Yeah, right. No, I, I didn't. Oh, I'm on the computer. He'll, he'll leave a message and I'll, I'll play it. Hot dog down the hall. What's a hot lunch? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just reading these words. I don't. <laughs> oh man! <laughs> what is that? <laughs> you don't want to know. Uh, Go to uh, what is it? UrbanDictionary.com and type it up. Type it in. Mark Taylor says vertical lips. What what does that mean? Oh, it's a beef flume. <laughs> Dave, you got a new guitar. What do you got? Do you What's want, a girth you warrior? Want to that or do you wanna <laughs> just play that? We're the girth warriors. <laughs> do you want to tell tell us about that, Dave, or do you just wanna No, no I, I don't think... I don't talk about this guitar. I'll play it. You can see it. I don't talk about it. Keep it a mystery. Let's look at the back. Is that a stand? Is that a standard? It is a standard. Maybe you can, you know, kind of tell what it is by looking at all the well, worn parts of it. What's a steaming lunchbox? Oh man! I think the question's for you. For me? Okay. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Vintage sounds. No, this is not a VOS. Tanya Roberts. Oh, she she was in View to a Kill. Yeah. Steam Alaskan lunch. pipeline. In the tank. <laughs> I don't know what any of this stuff is. I really Taco Bell. I don't know what that is. Fifty nine. Fifty nine cents. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Sounds great. Don't don't even plug that in, man. <laughs> it's got some great tone to it, just without even being plugged in. 
What is that? Is that is that a customer guitar? No, this is my guitar. That's the guitar that shall not be spoken. Is, of. is that an Epiphone? Yep. <laughs> student model, not the student model. Kramer. That's a little flame in that. How come you don't play that? I do play that. <laughs> that looks like your best guitar. Is that heavy, Dave? I know Les Paul's. I mean, is it mahogany? Uh, it's all mahogany, it's, right? It's mahogany maple. It, it, this is about eight, eight and a half pounds. Hello. Hola. <laughs> it's an authorized chipson. A fibson. Mm -hmm. I was watching a few of those uh, uh, rig rundowns. Uh, you guys ever watched the rig rundowns on Premiere? Mm -hmm. uh, Slash and uh, I watched a couple of them yesterday. Slash and um, I guess it was the two thousand seventeen tour, Guns and Roses, uh, and then they did uh, uh, the Edge too. Just a couple of like the the ones that I could tell were kind of you know they're going to show a lot of and, and Joe Bonamassa was a great one too. Um, I know Dave's talked about him a lot, but he's got some amazing guitars, and he takes the rare stuff out, out on the road. Yeah, he takes it all out. Yeah, he's not afraid to get uh, you know a, a you know a, a twenty thousand dollar guitar dirty. Well, the first the, first of all, they're not twenty thousand dollars. They're uh, oh, yeah, he's leaving. They're uh, it's like two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Well, you know, some of them are you know any anywhere between you know twenty and two hundred. <laughs> But uh, he's got the, you know, an amazing collection. It was cool to see that, you know, the mods that he did, to, well, not necessarily him, but his tech did to some of them. And um, and he plays through, you know, the amps that he plays through. He's got the the whole variety of combos from like a Vox to a, uh, you know, a Fender Bassman to a Marshall. And, you know, he mixes all of his. It's really cool. Watch it. it, it if you get a chance at some point, watch his rig rundown. And, he talks about his live sound and how his his uh, sound engineer kind of mixes his his tone between all the you know he's he's probably got you know seven or eight mics going going to front of house that he's that his uh, sound guys dealing with so he mixes the different tones of different cabinets and direct sound direct lines and stuff like that it's just cool to you know the whole. Uh, rundown of his rig. Fruitcake Tony, thanks, man. He's leaving. Have a good night. And uh, yeah, thanks. Said Jay, be safe. Definitely. Yeah, absolutely. Good night, Fruitcake. Brett McCord, no, this is not the guitar that I had in that uh, that interview. I watched that video. I had a couple of Les Pauls in that in that interview. They were they were all reissues. They were all the gold top was a reissue. And I think I had a burst or two in there that were all uh, custom shop reissues. How many? Yeah, this one is not that. How many do you own that right now? Just the one. Just the one. Mm -hmm. That's all you need. Mm -hmm. Just the one that he. Uh... Never mind. Huh? Nothing. I was going to say something funny, but. Yeah, yeah, Matt Dog's saying uh, he has about a hundred old Fender amps. It's uh, not. I think he's talking about Bonamassa. Bonamassa, yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh man. Yeah. Well, we're we got about uh, twelve minutes to three, and where I'm at, so. We can push it till three and then uh, see where we go from there. I've but, been tired this whole, whole yeah, week. I know. Hey, kind, of a, kind of a low key episode, kind of a low key Saturday night, but it's all good, you know. Man. Anybody got any other questions? Anybody want to? I guess uh, I don't know where Johnny is, but uh, yeah, I want to know uh, what's what's the deal, man. I don't know. But Dr. Jimmy, I, I will not talk about it on social media. So what's the deal? What's the deal? Seinfeld voice. Yeah. Can you Is do that, that, John? 
what's the deal with with 59? <laughs> Dave, what's the deal with the 59? What's the deal with Mick Jagger blowing that microphone behind you? <laughs> what's the deal with Mick Jagger? <laughs> Mm -hmm. uh, and Dave, you saw that. You said you saw had, you saw the eighty one tour, correct? I didn't see it live. No, I saw. I oh. watched that. Oh, you were talking about the yeah the Van the, Halen. I saw it. Yeah, film. yeah. You saw them in eighty one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that was December. In a, uh, it was like the middle of December in Arizona, in the stadium. You can see a lot of the people were wearing like. Johnny, what's the weather like in December in Arizona? It's hot. Does it? All right. So, I mean, I it's, I know it gets cold out in the you know the desert. It you know like it, it towards no. the evening and stuff. But no, never, no, no, never does. It's always hot. No, when I was a kid in, in AZ, always tan, and I had red hair. Did it get cold at night, or, or really didn't get too much lower than? I don't think so. Well. Hmm. I'm going to have to get that DeLorean and go back in time. Good idea. Yes. Say it. Say it, Jay. Or the phone booth. Scream it. Back in time. <laughs> <laughs> what? What is this? What is that? I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. I don't know. Search it on, on Google and see what you get. No. <laughs> so glad nobody watches this show. We got 45 watching. 45 thumbs up is what I see. Oh. Three in the morning. Hit those thumbs up. It's not bad. We're in the home stretch. We'll get out of here in a few. Mm -hmm. Got to make it till three, Jay. We'll make it till three and then. Uh, so yeah. going to get yelled at. You guys got eight more. I've been I've been getting yelled at for an hour. Oh, all right. Well, yeah, I've been getting yelled at for a long time. But Is that why yeah. you keep disappearing and going into laying down the law? No. Although it looks like we're going to call here. I'm on the damn show. Call from Armand. Oh. To accept, press one. To send a voicemail, press two. I, okay. No. I sent the caller to voicemail. Goodbye. Oh. And you did it again. He does it on purpose. Yeah. No, 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 no. No, I'm answering it on my on my MacBook, and it doesn't give me the option. It doesn't give me a keypad. So why don't you just answer it on the phone? Dude, call back. <laughs> For the third time. What's the Harry Slip and Slide? What's what's that? <laughs> I don't know what that is. Never heard of it. <laughs> Armand, call back. Call back. I'll answer it on this, and we'll get, we'll get you in here. You can ask all about his Luke, and how come he's not playing that? Because that was his favorite guitar for like. It's for a while. Is, it still is one of my favorite guitars. I play it all the time. Sasquatch? Wait, Sasquatch? <laughs> is that anything like the, the Chupacabra or the Sasquatch? It's a rare uh, animal, the Sasquatch. <laughs> Johnny, you're right. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm good. Sasquatch. <laughs> oh, Renus. We love it, man. How come no one's jumping in the Discord, man? They don't get it. They don't know how to use it. Brown Sailor. D dudes, I, I've been I've been in the Discord here, man. Anybody can jump in and just talk to us. Where's Jay? Jay's gone. Oh, there's Jay. Fishy suction cup. <laughs> Gross. I hate fish. I, I I don't like fish. Me neither. Fish is all right. Just I'm not like a another sea other seafood. I, I can't. I don't really like lobster or shrimp or clam. That's, that's good if you're gonna have fish. Fish. That's not fish. I mean, fish is good. Like haddock. Mm -hmm. You know, fish. You haddock? Fish and chips is always good. But uh, you haddock. I haddock. I've haddock. I've haddock. You guys uh, on the West Coast, you don't have haddock, right? What do you have? What's the go-to fish on the West Coast? Snapper. Uh, go mahi, fish. Mahi mahi. Mahi mahi. 
I don't know, but I, all the all the fish, like when you when you get the fish patties and the fish sticks, it's all, uh, oh, it's, yeah. all it's all Pollock. It's all polished. That must whatever be the West Coast. Yeah. Kinda. Whatever that. It's all polished. <laughs> um, is that Sandra Pollock? <laughs> I don't know. Um, <laughs> gee, you love sa salmon? Pink salmon? Yeah, salmon's good, but I'm I'm <laughs> salmoned out, man. I'm not really a fan of it. Kiesel salmon? Yeah. Salmon. You know, I found out about you found out. Found I've been done found out about <laughs> <laughs> seven or eight years ago that I'm like highly allergic to like shellfish and and sea seven fish. over eight years ago. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> I never knew it because I don't eat fish. I think I the f smell is disgusting. Yeah, that, that's gross. And some people are like, well, it's fresh fish. It shouldn't smell. It. Like, what? Fish smells like fish. It doesn't smell like no, rock. Fish, like fish smash. Fish smash. Fish, fish smash. Fresh fish smells doesn't smell like anything, really. Well, fish, it, does. It, smells like, it smells like fish. It smells like the sea is what it smells uh, like. It's not supposed to. I mean, seafood is huge down here. And I go out to restaurants and stuff, and I have... You know, I'm one of those guys that, you know, the table next to you gets like a seafood something, and I'm like, oh, no, I got to smell it. <laughs> it's almost as bad as somebody lighting up a cigarette next to me. Oh, yeah, that's I, love, I love that. Yeah, Ugh. mind if I, mind if I fart? I've never had a problem with with secondhand smoke. Ugh. I've never smoked myself, but secondhand. I've, I mean, I guess a lot of my friends growing up always smoked. My parents never smoked. But, oh, I smoked but, for years, and secondhand smoke. Yeah, I it, love it's it. kind of a familiar smell to me. That uh, it's familiar, you know. Yuck! All I'd, right, I'd be smoking right now oh, if I could. Is. Yeah, oh. Doctor Jimmy, same with me, man. If there was nothing wrong with it, I'd be doing that all day long. Jimmy Bitter's got it right. I don't eat ocean bugs like lobsters and crabs. That's all they are—is bugs. Oh. You know? They're the same family. Look it up. It's they're like not. I don't know. If it's crustacean or you know they uh, they come from the same origins. Whole oh. as, uh, as uh, what's his name? <clears throat> D uh, dot. I can't even think of his name. Darwin. <laughs> but I wonder what would happen if I actually did eat. Like Probably. shelf uh, shellfish or something. Going to anaphylactic shock. Stop being so shellfish. <laughs> All right, it's three o'clock. I gotta get out of here. It's no, you got three minutes. It's uh, two fifty-seven. Nature, nature's garbage, man. That's right. It's the poor man. Are you on a Mac? What? You're on a Mac, right? Me, yeah. What time does it say? What? Two fifty-seven. There you go. Okay, here's the picture. Picture. Who did who did this? I don't know. Dr. Jimmy, you're wrong. It is all about me. <laughs> Two. Who who did this? Some somebody made this and somebody sent this to me. I made it and then flushed it down a toilet. Oh. Okay. I'm sorry. Somebody made this and somebody sent this. I, it's, it's very, very weird. Oh wow. <laughs> What what is that? That is <laughs> weird to say the least. <laughs> oh my god. It's like alien Johnny. How many fucking arms do you have, Johnny? <clears throat> and what's that coming out of them? Are you a crotch walker? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's gotta be the thumbnail. You gotta save that photo and put it as the thumbnail for the yeah. Okay. I'll do that. <clears throat> there it is. <laughs> It's the new logo for the Johnny Bean Show. Yeah, the Johnny Bug Show. Well, let's do a roll call and say good night. If we're uh, if we're at that point, we don't want to uh, leave without saying good night. Correct? Why not? That's that's fun. Good night. Bye bye. 